All right, let me DM him real quick. Yo. Oh, hello. Stop. I was just about to DM you. Hello. What's Hi, up? You're watching my stream. I just got owned. Oh, I mean, that's okay. You had fun, right? Well, I thought you purposely lost so you could come to the watch party and not keep us waiting. <laughs> yeah, That's he's so true. thoughtful, man. Yeah. If I won that game, I would have been like 10 minutes late. True, true. So yeah, all things happen for a reason, happened. you know? All right. Uh, hold on. Let me finish the streamception real quick and pull it up. Wait, box, box. Uh, we we tolerated you being late yesterday, but since you were late today again, um, if you're late tomorrow, I'm gonna have to talk to the guy who runs this event. His name is Boxbox, and he might have something to say to you. So Ooh, just don't be late again. Oh, you're a, you're you would tattle on him? You yeah. Wouldn't. Wow. Okay. Uh, so on today's episode, would you like to do an introduction formally, Boxbox, or what? Yeah, I got it. I got it. <clears throat> Okay, welcome back everybody. Everybody watching on any of the streams. Uh, this is day two of the bootcamp watch parties. It's actually like day 12 of the bootcamp. The, uh, the more important number is that this is the final two days of the box box bootcamp. There are only eight people alive in each division. Four will be eliminated from each category today. And then on the final day tomorrow, three will be eliminated, leaving only one winner in each division. Okay. I. Uh, the competition is actually like shaped to be incredibly close. Uh, in the casual department, there is a war for Emerald 2, with uh, a majority of the participants being within 100 LP of each other. It's really anyone's game, and it looks like a lot of them are streaming right now, which I'm very happy to see. Uh, in the advanced category, there is a battle of the low LP mat. They're all higher ranked than me. <laughs> oh. For now, for now. By the advanced division. For now. Sorry, I got distracted. Okay, uh, it is a battle of the, the the zero LP masters. It is also still anyone's game. They're all within like one first place of each other. Uh, in the pro category, surprisingly, this is actually like the largest division or the largest gap. Uh, the pro category actually probably has the least amount of like high stakes moments right here. Uh, the, the gap between the top four and the bottom four is humongous. Surprisingly, it looks like Dish Soap will be not moving on unless he pulls a miracle. Uh, I That's mean, really interesting it's possible. He's also yeah, like he in a game right now. Him. He could top. He could if he goes first, like right now, like he's in a, he's in an okay spot. He has to gain 180 LP in three hours, <clears throat> which is like I think average one. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah basically like average I mean, average 1.5. If he pulls it off and then averages one again the next day to win it all. He's just the best. Yes. But he is but he is the best. Or one of the best. So it's like it wouldn't surprise me if he'd pull it off. Yeah. <clears throat> so this will be interesting. For the next three hours, we're gonna jump from POV to POV, uh, follow their journey as they try to not get eliminated. Uh also there's a lot of money on the line. Froden, do you wanna go ahead and click on, on the prize pool tab really quick? Let's uh, see what everybody's waiting for today. Uh it's in the rules. The about about. It says click here for information on prizes. Click. Uh, about about That's like the second the bottom line ah click here for prizes sorry noted i'll make the website better next time uh so <clears throat> here we go the top prize well anyone who's made it here has already locked in at least a few hundred dollars and if you survive today you win about a grand if you then fight for a second or first you could win up to 3000k wait 3000k 3000k damn He's paying them in K. Okay. So. Uh, yeah, go back to the, the main bootcamp site. Yep. Okay. So we're going to jump from POV to POV. We'll try to find games that start at the beginning and like watch the journey. For the casuals, we'll watch, say what we would do. Uh, see like how many of like the good moves they can find. For the pro, maybe we'll learn something from them. They're all higher ranked than us by a lot. For the advanced... I don't know. Maybe it'll be hype. Maybe it'll be okay. hype. I was just in a game with Sally, with you, Jelly, actually. I think we went 5 6. Nice. Held hands. <laughs> but that's bad okay. because then I think she went to zero LP. So. Let's uh. go ahead and take a look at this. So, who's in a game and just started? This uh, you, Jelly's at 100 HP. 
and yeah, any love is 87. Game. So. Uh, yeah, I'll say go get you, Jelly. Okay. Oh, I was actually hyped. This is my roommate. She's streaming like 12 feet away from me right now. Oh. So you could literally backseat. Like, you could just like be behind her and then like tell her what to do. Yeah. You were legally required to not go to the bathroom or grab a snack for the next three hours, Fox Fox. Oh. Oh, okay. How come? Because you might be helping her. Like, we don't know if you like her in the true. corner. I might be giving her advice. I see. I see. Did you backseat you know, it or help her at all during the bootcamp? time to grab a snack. It's like, by the way, sell the Kogma. Yeah, you can actually do that. <laughs> That's right. Or knock twice on the door for like reroll. <laughs> um. So I I have a question. Did you help Sally at all? Because you're roommates, so shouldn't you help people that you live with? Oh, I actually didn't help her at all. Uh, we live our lives very separately, and I barely see her at all. Oh. She just streams at demonic hours, and then I do my own stream, and I barely leave my room. Interesting. Interesting. Is it, a, is it like big enough for you guys to have your own space and feel like you never interact? Or is it just that you guys are always in your rooms? We're always in our rooms. Uh, our form of roommate bonding, we used to do this with my previous uh, roommate, Ed, who is an Osu streamer. Uh, the previous form of roommate bonding was we all leave our doors open and like the screams of our streams kind of like echo. And like, it feels like you're in a crowded place with your friends. <laughs> That's our form of bonding. Wow. That's very anime. You know how like the sports team all start yelling just to show spirit and, <laughs> and set the environment. I like it. <clears throat> Everyone just what simultaneously yells. Gwinsu's, Gwinsu's, Story Weaver, Kench, Trick Shot. It looks like Bard know. to me. I, I don't know if, if if it looks like anything else to you guys. Oh, I was making a joke. Oh, 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 oh. I see, I see, I see. Very subtle. I mean, I'm down to see how she does it. I feel like inspiring epitaph is not a good pick for Bard. Definitely not early. Also, box box. She needs to buy the Nico. Buy the, buy the Nico. Okay. I made the executive decision to invite a special guest who shall be sure. arriving soon. Oh, is, he who I think it is? is Sally just gonna, uh, uh, it pops in out of nowhere. Mm. <laughs> um, it might just be Obama. <clears throat> Nice. Uh, small subtle Wait. thing. Sally's like not actually positioning. Uh, Her Sivir positioning is off. Yeah, but there's an argument that she's trying to keep Sivir safe. So like, that's okay as well. Uh, th theoretically, so I think China did it like a DPS calculator. Theoretically, two Rage Blades is also like the best item set on Ash, but Ash is just completely unplayable. So uh, I'm pretty sure it's Bard. Oh, you, you... Oh, yeah. Also, Sally is like well known to just like be a hard forcer. She really likes that. Um, she actually did very well in the Vegas LAN. Like, unusually, like, whoa. Yeah, didn't she uh, go like 1-1-2 one, one, yeah, or something? she went 1-1-2 one, one, in the first round of the Vegas LAN. And, um, like, we, we went together. Uh, it was like, she was telling me like on the flight there, like, yeah, I have no confidence going into this event. I just prepared one reroll line and I'm going to force it all three games. And if I hit, I'll win. If I don't hit, I'll lose. And then she forced it all three games. She hit all three games. And then she had the best performance in like the entire um, like event. Yeah, for the first round. For the first round. And then she immediately lost. But it was hype. Was it reroll? I thought she played time. disco every game. She was, yeah, forcing disco and country. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Oh, so she, she, knows, two, like, she knows two builds. Yeah, two builds. Yeah. Uh, yeah, what's with so, your house and disco players? Yeah. <laughs> it runs in the house. A lot of, um. Oh, yeah. Most of Sally's gameplay involves, like, she just finds, like, a favorite build and force it. She, like, likes to force every real build. Which I'm down for. Uh, this is, like, philosophy of, like, if you're in a lobby of players that are all, like, a thousand LP higher than you, your best odds are actually to force every real build. Because you're more likely to pilot it correctly. And then if you high roll it, you win. And if you play a flex game, you might get out flexed by people just like being able to maneuver the, the flex traits better than you. But like for reroll, you just roll and see if you hit. Yeah, yeah, for the most part. I think it's oh, she like- Oh, this team building. Oh, she's gonna look it up. Blistering strikes is really good on, look, does she have a uh, Sunfire or Anti? She does not. Blistering Strike uh, is, is, is legitimate pick too. Yeah, Blistering Strike is really good with Bard because you don't really have any uh, good Morello holders. 
Oh, so that makes it real nice. He actually, it's going to take it. Maybe unified at this point. Un it unified is very good as well. Yeah, anything that buys you time. Interesting. I think blistering I is actually if you're playing bard. So I, 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 I feel like if you're. Oh, sorry. Oh, I was gonna. I was just gonna say that I think that this is like a totally fine pick. I think one of the things to always consider is how it combines with your other augment. And inspiring epitaph makes unified like really good because you get the shield, and then you get yes. even more resistance that stacks onto that shield, and it could be really really good. I would have absolutely taken the uh, Sand United here. Well, I would have taken team building if I was dead set on Bard. If I was down to kind of flex it up to nine, then I think the Unified is fine. Yeah, I, that I makes think sense. Strike is also playable. Mm hmm That makes sense to me. Okay, nobody tell her that her server positioning is wrong. I just want to see if she'll figure it out. <laughs> it could... It, there's a justification for it. Even if it's, like, quote, Wait. wrong, you could justify it. Wait, how is it wrong? Well, if, if your Kale doesn't have the speed one, I... Uh, you're supposed to put Sivir in the middle. Well, if you want Sivir to be the last unit to die, this is actually correct. But right. I th yeah, I think this is correct. Your damage. This is correct because uh, she has double rage blade and she's the main carry. So you definitely want her in the corner. That could definitely swing a fight. Well, usually I wouldn't, even if it was my main carry, I wouldn't want in the corner because of Caitlyn's and Lux's. It, like a Lux's Trojan actually just like ruins your day. Like, like right here, it could be uh, a. Po oh, oh my God! Oh, oh Sivir! Oh Where God! Going? Uh, wait. That's actually oh, okay she, though, because uh, she dodges she the Lux because of that. Five head. Wait, yeah, PhD Sivir. I think she actually wins because of that. Oh no, she oh got stunned this time. Oh, she got stunned this time. Oh, they were wait, killing. Wait, wait. Trick shot! Trick shot! Nice. 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 Also, uh, this is really random, but I looked it up, and apparently, uh, speed kale is better than aid kale or shred kale. Yeah, it's one oh of those God. things she where she sees a bard on carousel with a rod. Oh, oh this... mm. I'm sorry, I interrupted you. Oh no, I was just gonna say that, like, I don't know if she's gonna get it because it's uh, she's last there's point. no way she gets it, but I nah. can, like, look at look she how wins. close she is to her camera. She knows. <gasps> oh, oh. <laughs> oh what's what this guy doing? <laughs> No, you can't show it. You can't show your intent in the circle. You have to like play it cool. Oh no, she has to take tier and build a defensive item. Yeah. Oh. You can't you can't yeah, let everyone know that it. you want it. Otherwise they're just gonna they're gonna take it. Like a lot of people, they take that not because they think it's good for them, because they know you want it. Someone just hit a bar too. She's contested. Oh. She should probably level and roll a little bit here. She's on a 10 streak. Uh oh. yeah. Also, I think it's I don't know if she will, but like this is totally viable of a way for her to fast nine. Like she has, she's she's win streaking. She has the ability to like keep playing this, and then you could you could just go like rage blade I really or rage blade Hui and just kind of play around that. Um, and then she can win the game. This is gross. Way. Two star bard. How do you feel about rage blade Azir? I don't like it at all. But oh oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna Azir believer. Oh, I mean, I, I mean, Zir can do well. I just don't like Rage Blade on a Zir. That's all. Got it. Oh, I agree that like you shouldn't make a Rage Blade for a Zir, but I think that if you had a Rage Blade earlier, a Zir is a totally fine pick. Yeah, yeah, oh. and a lot of times you don't get the pick, right? Because you're rolling it Wait, now, you just have to play whatever you can. Oh, she called his name. Want to make a deal? You pivot, and I give you a cookie. Whoa! Whoa. There are new Whoa. tactics in this box box boot camp. Baked goods exchange. She didn't offer me a cookie when we were both playing Ghosty last game. You got the biscuit delivery. Oh man. If this guy takes the deal, are we gonna report it to Riot? I mean, mm. you're the head of, isn't it your tournament? <laughs> Can't you yeah, make the executive like, decision? Decisions, I like to just forward it to Riot because I. Uh, one thing I really hate is being the guy who makes the, or has to be the bad guy. I'm the bad guy. Riot has been uh, very nice. They've been willing to like, like whenever there's like uncomfortable news, they've been the one who's been willing to handle it. I've been very thankful. I feel that. I feel that. I mean, I felt that same way about like when I worked at Twitch, because uh, Twitch was very easy to always look like the bad guy and I didn't want to look like the bad guy. So I feel you on that one. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, let's just play more. Okay. Uh, Tulia didn't respond, so I'm. Oh, I'm a pivot, but I'm gonna hold it for now. She's negotiating. You are just she so, said, poggers, you are so man. poggers, man. Oh, 
Oh my god. And that's why you build up Riz for moments like these. Wait, oh, you I learn how to bake. She convinced the guy to pivot off of his Oh godly my spot. god. No, man. Oh, she dude, this is this th th this mind, this is playing I TFT on a new bars. level, on a new level. Oh, never mind. Never mind. I Wait, have okay, five bars. The no takes these backsies. Oh, this is a good play. I like this one. <laughs> nah, he's just playing hard to get. He wants more. He wants give him give him two cookies. Fire, Fuck it. Give him two cookies. Throw in a brownie. Throw in a brownie. <laughs> Yeah, throw in a brownie for good measure. Isn't this actually so pivotable? Grab the two Siluses. You can play like Kaisa or just like flex to nine. Well, I know Sally hates the flex nine uh, route, but like, oh, she skipped it. She skipped a double Silas. Yeah, no, it she didn't it. even hold it on the roll down. She didn't even hold it. Oh, wait. She didn't even hold it. Oh. Oh, we're committing. We're contesting. Oh, no. Sally. I like this play, though. Yeah. I'm pretty sure with double rage blade, it's either you go nine with like a fuck ton of gold, or you play bard, or you're going eighth. Yeah, just go nine. I know but she like, doesn't like it, but she's in such a good spot for it. It's surely worth a try. It's worth a try. Also, what I don't like is that she could have waited for the the augment as well. Like the augment might influence your choice a lot if you get something as insane. Uh, like, like, let's, let's say you get like hedge fund. Like surely you could like play from it from that spot. Um, box box i have reports that you are leaving your camera frame i'm gonna need you to stay in frame oh yes yes i'll, I'll stay on the camera frame <laughs> like bounds budget she's, here she's would have been a crazy bag. fast nine no oh sh don't take three's a crowd oh don't force the bard it's not good in this spot also yeah wait two people yeah, can hit bar three though wait Fuck no you it. can't there's only 17 bards. You'd have to have like a dupe. Or a oh, play. stay united. Oh, okay. Marty. So you're saying there's a way. Oh no. She's no, no. Nope, there's no the way. Guy, no the way. The guy has five bards. Oh, oh dear. She's gonna skip the udir. She's looking at a mumu and she's not gonna see the udir. Udir is. Or the Nico. Pretty insane. At least by the Nico. By the Nico. Oh, she's playing mythic she's variant. She is lost. Can you um unmute the stream for a sec? I want to like see what she's thinking. Sure. Uh, one sec. Can you hear? Oh wait. I cannot. I muted. <laughs> Hold on a second. I muted the tab. All right. Uh, after this fight, I'll zoom. Out. Sorry about that. Okay. Regardless of what decision she makes, <laughs> she needs to keep an eye on the bard player. Can we see how many bards that guy has? Yes. Sorry about that. I'm unmuting. Here we go. Team nicely. It's actually really good that I got this thing. Scout the guy! Scout the guy! Wait, how many does he have? I feel like I shouldn't be rolling because we're contested. Ah! I like I can't! I can't sell it! I don't have a replacement! I have a bar too, but no replacement! Sivir! It's dinner time! You need to come! She can play now. Nautilus over Sivir for a little bit, get that music. <laughs> Oh also, wait, this sorry. Nautilus is on I'm, my I'm board trolling. She already has Nautilus on the board. Do. She can play Cho'Gath over Sivir. I mean, also, right I now, know. all thing. This is uh, this is looking pretty bad. Oh wait, that person leveled to eight. Oh, person of their word. They're actually gonna pivot out. Wait, he actually pivoted off. He's tempoing Bard to nine. Remind me to buy a bag of cookies later. For Sally. What? No, 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 like, I'm gonna copy this threat. Oh, but you're gonna try to bribe people by giving them cookies. Okay. Man. I'm pretty sure she needs to uh, sell this server. Oh, I heard a doo-doo. <clears throat> hello. Oh, hello, Sejam. Oh, uh, yeah. hello. I, I got those connections. <laughs> Wow. Wait, you know Sejam from the Sejam Slam? Yep. Hello, Sejam Whoa. from the Sejam Slam. What's up, man? Hey, what up? How goes it? Dude, I love... Brandon, do you know about Sejam? Oh. Uh, Frodo, if you don't know Sejam, he is a fighting <laughs> game commentator. Oh, sweet. Cool. And he uh, he up? dabbled in TFT uh, thanks to the, bo the boot camp. He, uh, cool. he just started playing in set 10 for the first time, and he got Masters. Uh, set 9. 
that's awesome congratulations man yeah what's up gamers um i love con hard contesting the bard no pivot <laughs> buy the Do you? man just buy the Nautilus uh, for a little bit yeah i like the metal because like why not it makes me laugh oh you like it for the entertainment purposes i can get behind no that. yeah i mean i i think it doesn't make sense but that's why i like it I, there was a there's a game I played yesterday where uh, someone specifically greased my fortune cash out, and then mm -hmm. uh, my items were really good for the same exact comp for him. So I decided to try to pivot into his comp for revenge, and then he hit really fast like at the beginning of stage four, and I, and I just went ace. <laughs> so he griefed my cash oh. out, and I couldn't even revenge grief him. Uh, yeah, there's like there's like games where your spot is so good. You have like. Aphelios and like item slammed or like bard item slam like two one and people pivot into you on stage like three five and you're just like why bro What's, yeah like what where where are we at here can't we have peace so I like the cookie offering because I've never tried that but I should diplomacy an underrated skill in TFT for sure she skipped the Lilia <laughs> okay at least like bard over oh yeah 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 yeah, yeah. yeah. this is this is acceptable. Man, she does not want to let Sivir go. That was really hard. <laughs> she she hovered selling like four times. Yeah. Okay. Wait, wait. D does she see it? Does she see Silas for four Bruiser over a Mythic? Does she see it? She does oh. not. I don't think she sees the Silas unit at all. She doesn't notice him. I don't think she views Silas as like a person. She skipped so many of them. Wait, it's, it's pretty funny. Oh she god, for a while, this board either. looks kind of good on the other side. Yeah, she also like doesn't see Riven as a person. Yeah, yeah. And that's actually a yeah, shame. Yeah, I'm gonna call this the Bard Blindness. It's I where you know the optimal line for Bard, and then that's the only thing you can buy. Honestly, he's so ham that I feel like it it might be okay. Uh, actually, maybe. Like, I, I suffer from this too. Uh, earlier I had two out of three fortune, and then I was offered pick of the litter. Which gives me you two or three choices of a three cost. I picked it hoping for fortune, and both fortune units were there. And I was like, is my game bugged? It only offered me two choices. And it turns out it was actually there the whole time, but I had fortune blindness. Oh, <laughs> unfortunate. Unlucky. Uh, that's pretty good. Oh, there's a trick shot. Yeah. And, and I think that um, one thing for people that I think a lot of people don't understand nearly as well is that. Yes, having Kale for the shred is really good, but a lot of time what you really care about is the trick shot bounce to the back line to kill. And so Oh, oh my god. Oh. oh my god, we are so back. <clears throat> but yes, uh I noticed that the speed augment for Kale actually does better on Bar What? 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 Oh my Wait, if she hits on the scroll down. Oh, oh my, my. Is she just the best? Another just, one. Come on. Here, 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 here. Right here, right here, right here. This is the one right here. You gotta roll. You gotta roll. Yeah, you gotta go. You gotta go. It's time. Hit the D key. Go, go, go. Okay. Seven. Oh my god, this APM. She has 40 gold. Oh my <laughs> god. What? I heard her scream from her room. Wait. I heard why? the scream. I was like, I wonder what's going on. And then. Oh. I mean, Nas is, is definitely better than, uh, no. like a lot of these units yeah this is a ridiculous shop are you kidding me oh um double redemption oh i don't think oh. that was correct where did the cloak go oh what is happening uh, she definitely had a better i think she panicked but yeah she, yeah, she, yeah, she yeah. panicked for sure um okay redemptions do not stack very well together no it's okay though you know, I, I see this a lot. I'm sure you guys play and stream a lot of TFT to understand, but the game is really easy to play when it's not your hands and brain. Well, like when you're in, you're just watching someone else play, TFT is so easy. Like, yes, you know, yes. Just being a spectator, you're just like, dude, why didn't they just do X, Y, Z, what, like whatever. But then when you're in there, it's like, you're just, your hands and brain don't work. That's kind of like every game, though. Like, when I watch you yeah. play uh, Tekken, I'm like, why doesn't that guy just block that low? That's Wait, a down four too. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Shut oh, up, Ray. No, <laughs> man. <laughs> I call it the, in fighting games, I call it the spectator sharring gun, where, like, as a spectator, you see everything. Uh -huh. and you're like, oh, everything's so obvious to you. You're like, oh, clearly this person's going to run up and, like, go low. And then, like, when you're actually in the match, you, like, don't do anything. You know, you're just like. Yeah, oh, that, was, that was actually a 14 frame punish, by the way. Yeah, see. <laughs> That's what it is. Wow, Ray. Oh, there's a bruiser. You've a grown bruiser. a lot as a player, a I can see. <laughs> <laughs> Small thing, too. Uh, a lot of times. 
you... Oh, we're going for BT Double Redemption Kench. Oh, Global this is the new new build. Okay. Healing Kench. I like this. <laughs> Wait, this is the best in slot in Idaho. In Idaho. <laughs> Wait, this Kench is cooking. Look at him. Okay, it's not the bar. Important this... here. I don't think Sally knows this, but um, they recently changed rolling odds in this set specifically. You actually lose odds of three cost at eight. So if you're rolling for a three cost like a Philos or Bard, you specifically want to roll at seven until you're done and then roll at or then level up. Unless oh, you're like yeah. trying to fish for a legendary, which she is not here. Yeah, it was higher Wait, before, she right? Noticed the Silas. Okay. Well, she did. Your she odds did. go from forty to thirty two. So like she's shooting herself in the foot a little bit on the odds yeah. of Kench here. Twenty percent okay. less likely. Yeah, I, I I think that uh I I think you're right. And like ultimately I think it's fine though, in the sense that um she needs to she needs to do something to improve and sometimes like if you don't think you're gonna hit you should just level at that point because it's guaranteed to fair. improve your board i think she i think she, in her spot board... oh go ahead in her spot she was probably supposed to roll like until it was clear she wouldn't hit and be able to level yeah yeah and then yeah. just level yeah exactly and try to I was gonna say, I, her board it feels like she can just position and then sit now like this this looks fine she's still rolling kench 2 is a little scary it like, is a little scary pretty close this doesn't this doesn't yeah. look that strong. This is at least uh, a, a kill, which is nice. Yeah. Okay, Sally. She's chilling. That Bard is so cool. <clears throat> he is cool. I hope he's still like, viable wait, next patch. Wait, Ari <laughs> kissed me, guys. She just kissed me. Nah, yeah, she's kissing me, me, man. Sorry. No, that was, that nah, was me, that's bro. actually a really common mistake. It's all good. It was not me. I'm sure. Of it. <laughs> it was definitely not me. <laughs> That's okay, okay. anything here looks pretty good. Yeah. I just heard her scream. Something happened. Uh oh. Uh. <laughs> oh, every tank item is gone. Oh. No. Oh. Low key, oh, I think I Shiv spoiled. is. Like three seconds before it happens. I, I, I think Shiv was room. good there, actually, the more I think about it. Yeah. Yeah, just for more coverage. Yeah, because yeah, the thing about good. it is Kale only hits the front. Like, every, it's only whoever she attacks. And then if you want um, the ability to zap the back line and reduce their magic resistance, yeah, it actually Silas. might work He's well. Silas. Silas. Yeah, Silas. Yeah. 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 I, think, I like uh, Silas, huh? I agree with you, Froden. Uh, I think you, you made it a comment on it yesterday during the watch party, but, like, the idea of double shred to, like, make sure you're, like, hitting the whole team consistently is actually, like, a pretty high level concept that a lot of people don't see. Yes. Yeah, it's nice to have like Ionic Spark plus Shiv because then you get one in the front and one in the back. Yeah. Y even double Shiv is not even the worst con because you, you, you only can hit a certain amount of targets. So. Yeah, you always hit different targets. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> okay. It, before I talk to Sally from like the observations that we're making, remember that she is higher LP than Soju. <laughs> and me. <laughs> uh. Wait, and me. Wait, Ray, you're not masters. Wait, is she also higher than me? Wait, are you zero right now? No, I hit masters today. Oh, congrats. Oh, thank you. I'm one win higher than her. There you go. Well, she wins this game. Uh, then she's gonna jump past Albert, yeah. and then uh, and then she's gonna <laughs> replace Albert in the commentary box. <laughs> yeah, she's just in here with us. <laughs> So we have to watch box box play. Yes. Well, yes. you know how like people make a joke like I'm the highest ranked player in my house. Box box yeah. can't even say that. That's kind of <laughs> oh no. Oh, that is actually true. That's not good. Oh, this is a counter matchup. That's Ooh, not two. good. Okay, Ooh, but gonna this run guy it down. is one life. Eight allowies, eight Shen. That's like, true. Shen three is the real key. Right Sh Shen three yeah. ends up eating Bard's lunch because uh, the damage reduction per meep is actually so efficient. So he absorbs so much damage. But without Bard th uh, Shen three, it's a big deal. Oh yeah, the DRPM damage reduction per meep. <laughs> DR Wait, win? Dude, she, no, she's cooking, she's wait. Like, oh, she won. She won. She won. She won. She won. We couldn't see yeah, the health yeah. bars. Okay, that one was towards me for sure. It's because it's the it's ghostly. It's the ghostly passive. You can't see their wait, health she bars. Wait, she Yeah. She, wait. I, don't, I think her spot looks pretty good. She's this is actually just the most incredible heist. She was so screwed. Her contestant was hitting, and then she was like, "I'll give you a cookie if you pivot off." And then he did, and then died. It went he six. Went sixth. Yeah, yeah, that guy's a that guy's a you jelly sub. I'm gonna need to go to the rest for that one. <laughs> you need his credentials. I, I need an investigative report. I'm. So <laughs> he had five bards, and then he sold it and went nine and died. There's justice sometimes. <laughs>
I mean, that guy can't. Wait, he can't hear you what? guys. He's too busy enjoying his cookie. Yeah. Yeah, he can't hear you over the sound of Wait, delicious one chocolate. Kench? One Kench? You can do it, Sally. One more Kench. I mean, 32 odds is still pretty good. Yeah, she can hit one. It's yeah, the most strong. likely tier you'll see. Oh, she hit it. I heard her scream. Yippee! Nice. Uh, BT Silas. GG Silas is actually really good. BT Silas is also good too. Morello. Oh, she didn't she's have anti. Oh no, she has, she has blistering strikes. Oh. Sally. <laughs> Sally. I, I see. <laughs> this is called the this is called the victory lap. When you said that you can just win down an item, and it doesn't matter. Okay, mind oh, over matter. Okay. I just got a lot of complaints about me spoiling the result of her roll down. I apologize for leaking the results too early. I won't do it again. Yeah, but I can hear the scream in your mic, which means yeah. must also know. Like that, yeah. if you hear a scream, then you know something's about to happen. Okay, what if when she, she starts rolling down, you just scream at the top of your oh. lungs so we can hear her scream? Yeah, I'll mute my mic before. Uh... She did. Wait. Okay, I mean, third place is honestly not bad. Yeah, th yeah. third place is all right. We'll take it. Oh. Wait. Oh, oh, oh. Maybe this. Oh, no, that's definitely better. That's definitely better for sure. Yeah. <clears throat> Nautilus oh. is just such a bad unit. Well, like, like if you kind of think about, like, what Altruist is doing with the Martyr and the Inspiring Epitaph, that's double up on shields and HP. So your Altruist goes a really, really long way to, like, make sure that Tom Kench and a bunch of units survive. Nautilus is good for yeah. one cast. He's good for one, and that's it. And Is know. there yeah. anything you can do about, like, Bard's animation? He, like, kind of, like, freezes up a lot of the time. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah. what do you mean? Like, just when watch the bar this way. He kind of like, I think it's when he casts, just like he'll randomly like attack at and then stop for like a second and then go. It's like he's reloading. Oh, I think so. It's probably just cast animation. Nothing yeah. Really about it. I mean, this is this is over. It's all good. Top three, we take Wait, those. Just a few more of those. BT Kench? Oh, no. Right, yeah. Top three is amazing here. Top yeah, three is good. Ball. That was a good salvage. Nice what rank job. does she need to stay alive? Let's take a look. Uh, I think Frog is at LP. 83 LP. Is it's Frog cool. gaming? Wait, Frog is playing, right? Uh, let me see if she's streaming. Frog's not streaming. Or actually, I don't see if Frog is streaming. One hour ago, two hour ago, first and first, back to back. Damn. Hey. And down to zero, go first to first. I she mean, streamed today and then finished, and then I think she's still grinding more off stream. I, nice. I mean, sitting sitting at 83 doesn't look that. I mean, it's a little scary. It's a little scary. But it's not that scary. scary. I, I would not if I were her. Unless I was like really tired and I thought I was going to play bad. All right. I definitely like the cool like mind game scenarios as the timer approaches closer and you're very close in LP. Yeah. It, it is It is pretty. That's a, It's like a tight race right there, too. True. Yeah, there's like two players, version. low master, right? And then 80 LP, 80 and 89 LP is like. Yeah, it's pretty close. It could definitely happen in two and a half hours, whatever. That's good. That's I guess good. If I were in Frog's spot and I really wanted to just make it to the final day, I would watch you, Jelly, see if she was getting close. And then if she gets to like within one game, start playing. <coughs> I would definitely not want to be eliminated nah. because I sat and did nothing and then got passed. I would always want to at least like play the game. And then if I lose, then. But the jitters queuing up knowing you have to top four the game that's a little scary though oh have you ever heard about the previous incidents from the other boot camps i, I saw the ff one where the person was fine and then they ff'd and then they like put them below the threshold no and yes. it, i think it was last last set right there was one guy in the advanced division last set who forfeited a game because he wanted to get his quick fourth and get out but he forfeited too soon and got a fifth because he thought that the cutscene once the cutscene played that the placements were locked yeah. So he got, he cutscene somebody and then forfeited mid cutscene and then lost to them. I uh, and then there was another guy who um. It was a very strange situation. He like queued up with like, twenty five minutes left, which is weird because it's not even enough time to get a top four. And then the guy he was um facing like went eighth and then gave up, at the beginning of the game. He just like forfeited and gave up. Uh, so then this guy who um queued up with twenty five minutes left was like, oh, all I have to do is not let the game finish. Like, literally, just don't go 8th. Like, do not, like, 12 loose streak into an 8th so that the <laughs> game finishes before 25 minutes. And then he got really nervous, and he, like, kept selling his units and slamming the wrong items. And then he uh, went exactly 8th on a 12-game loose streak. And then with one minute left before the eliminations, he eliminated himself. <laughs> oh, my God. Man.
This was also like with the same level of stakes too. It was like the final two days. You sound so excited talking about it. That's the part that's so. <laughs> me, you, know that? you sound so, like your whole time. You look like you're yeah. in the best mood of your life describing these stories. Yeah. Well, I just think it was an entertain. Oh, he's in my chat. Hello, Dara. <laughs> oh, it was Dara. <laughs> Oh, that makes it so much better. I love Dara. He's a great Ouch. guy. Arya Saki, you have Holebreaker. Dude, Dara, Dara talks smack about placing better than me in one of the boot camps, and then he ended in like Emerald, and I was master. And I, was like, <laughs> I, didn't to, I didn't have time to play, bro. Like, what do you want from me? He ended he's the set like. He's on streamer, right? He's a, no, he plays. He's he plays a... Snap. He plays Marvel Snap. Yeah, I like TCGs. I quit Snap to play TFT. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> sorry, sorry, Dara. <laughs> you went from one of the most expensive games to the the most free game. Well done. I do, especially because I got I got chibi set for free on like the free roll. So oh. like, this game's actually just yeah. Wait, that's actually snap is expensive. It is very expensive. What, yeah. dude? It's incredibly expensive. Oh, then, I thought it was a free to play game. It's free, but like if you wanna if you wanna play it for real, then yeah, you gotta dump money to keep up with cards. I'll like how it. much to be competitive do you have to dump? I mean, that's the thing is you cannot just buy cards. So you have to keep playing and keep buying stuff and then hope that when you buy stuff, you happen to get the right card that you want. Oh, so it's like Hearthstone, kind of. Well, uh, no, there's no crafting. Yeah, you can't uh, make the card. Yeah, there's no, yeah. You have to wait for it to appear in your shop, right? Yeah. It's, it's, it's Night Market for Valorant, but like, um, yeah, but you can't play with the guns unless they're in your Night Market. Okay, wait, what we have something really interesting on this stream. Uh, first of all, Arya Saki is playing Ghostly Cast, which I think is a really cool build. Second, she is the second person we've watched in the boot camp who has only a hand cam. And I find that to be Whoa. very interesting. We watched Zironic yesterday, who also only had a hand cam. That, that could be anybody's hands. Like, what, if <laughs> your hands? what if this is you playing right now? Like, you oh, man. man just, is this the Zoolander moment? We just street. we recognize based off the hand model. <laughs> Yeah, what if these are just Box Box's hands? He's cheating right now. Dude, Box Box, I love your nails. <laughs> they go kind of hard. They, they go hard. And, and ma they match the keyboard. <laughs> okay, I've actually never played this build. Can somebody explain to me, like, how it works and why it's good? So sure. you play six ghostly with Kaisa. <laughs> sure. Uh, so there's there's many things about this build I really like, actually. I think Arya has made this really excellent I, I looked at her profile she actually has been playing this a lot it's like 60 to 70 percent of her games in her climb uh it works because ghost league and kaisa work really well because kaisa is like a, a a big ad caster she's kind of like you know like lux from previous sets where if she casts she wants to kill everything it's the same thing and ghostly stacks up these specters and so they all basically ramp up to this one big moment for when kaisa casts, she's going to delete everything so as the specters like ramp up the damage amplification Kaisa cast and then she just bursts um and then it gets more increasingly worse uh for the opponent as they lose more units because then the ghost specters stack onto one target and then by the end even just her auto attacks can kill okay that does make sense i i played an eight ghostly board with haunted house before morgana mm -hmm. as a carry and i realized morgana has zero synergy with her own trait she targets randomly uh. and then like she can't like kill one past the specters kill one past the specters so i see how kaisa makes sense here that's pretty cool yes and then it the, seems the like the flex version of senna uh yeah and then and i do i think one thing i also want to add on top of it is that she played stars are born in featherweights and didn't reroll. and i think that's actually She's really cool because this is actually something a lot of plays that like even challenger players at the very top sometimes miss but they feel like they take stars are born and have to like reroll or featherweights and have to reroll because it affects one and two cost units and instead, Wait. she used it to fast eight and now going fast nine, which I think is really yeah, smart. There's, a, there's yeah, another she's... six ghostly oh, board. Oh, she's yeah. very contested. Yeah. I mean, uh, that's why the though. ghostly the ghostly lines like this, right? There's like a, a bunch of other stuff you can play out of it. Because mm -hmm, mm -hmm. a lot of times you're like, oh, I'm going to reroll some. And you look around and there's like four people playing ghostly. And you're like, okay, well. Exactly. <laughs> let me check the tattoo. Like, let me see if I can play something else. Yes. Yes, what exactly. What happens if you reforge the blacksmith's gloves? Uh, it turns into a Did random horn artifact, which... <laughs> It's just yeah. worse. Oh. I feel like I disagree with her rolling here. She's level 9, 50 gold, 74 HP. She could just go 10. Yeah. And then pivot to like a full end game board. <clears throat> uh yeah. It, it kinda depends on like what she thinks she needs to roll for. A lot of times a lot of times going to 10 is because you want to fit another unit in, not because necessarily you want to roll for the five cost. Um because yeah, the amount of gold then? you need to get to level 10, like look at it, it's 80 gold. And would you rather just roll 80 gold and try to see if you can hit the Udir? A lot of times you do. 
And yeah, so even yeah. plus one here, I guess, right? I yeah, like what do, what do you even want to play as a plus 10. one box box if you do get to 10? Like, what do you want to play? I I would play Rakan. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. Oh, really funny trick. Cool. Uh, is Emerald 2, 0 LP. It's literally anyone's game. Oh my god, that's so intense. And I love that oh, any man. of them are, are they're all streaming. Uh, little yeah. fun tidbit. Um, I doubt any of you guys happened to be watching my stream last night at 4 a.m. But at 4 a.m., I finished my stream. And I saw that Any Love, who is um, number seven right now, fighting for her life in the casual, she was, um, I think she's a college student, and she was streaming from her phone. She was streaming on her phone, uh, and holding her phone in her left hand, pointing the camera at her laptop, and then playing with a touchpad, not even a mouse. She was playing TFT on a touchpad, rolling for Kench 3, Bard 3. Uh, and like she was like putting her phone down to like do a roll down or do the carousel. Oh. And she was like whispering uh, to not wake up her roommate. She was like incredibly dedicated. Oh my, that is so good. I like it. I like it. I, I feel like a, a lot of these uh, casual and, and advanced players, like there's people who take it uh, seriously in pro as well, but I feel like some of these casual players play it like it's like the <laughs> last tournament they'll ever do. The Wait, oh. does she realize that she has a sword? Oh. I think she's going for it. Oh, yeah, I mean, it's, it's he good. is. And also, Ghost Bat. Oh my god. She she right clicked it, I think, too, right? Didn't she check? Yeah, mm -hmm, she's checking mm -hmm. the Ghostly right now, so she knows. Yeah, she's thinking of who to get rid of here. Yeah. Oh, that's actually really big. We're going to. Who are you going to get rid of? Is it just Sniper, I guess? For Lissandra? Uh, are we are we going. Are we just staying on six Ghostly? Are we going to eight Ghostly? Wait, we only have one Ghost Bat. Never mind. <clears throat> yeah, you, you can only play uh six. Yeah, here. you usually yeah, put it on good. like Udir because Udir uh it's a tank trait. Yeah, well, it's also like he applies it pretty consistently. He gets beat up because you, you want him to get the healing as well. Was it ever sell Kane or like rebuild for one star and then move Blacksmith's gloves to Udir? Ooh, I I can see that as well. There oh. could be an argument you made that uh Kane one won't get his uh specters off. Oh, she dead? She's, she's dead, right? Dead. What did she lose to? Wait, it's at least like a top two, right? It should be. The person dies. Uh, her positioning was unfortunately like really. She got her. The Udir just got on top of her carry. Yeah, yeah. That's this like is the a third. Oh. What? Oh, uh, that's bad matchmaking. That's bad matchmaking. Yeah, no, but it, you, the biggest thing for sure is not getting sniped by Udir, because if you live by a yeah. little bit, if like Kaisa just lives there, then she's not dead, right? And yeah, all right, okay. Okay. She's still winnable. But, she needs yeah. a top four to be safe. She's a beast. She plays a lot of TFT. I'm very impressed. Oh, yeah. We were looking earlier at like who has the most games. I think it's actually Frog in the advanced category. Mm -hmm. uh, she Frog has played 359 games, which yeah. is 19 hours a day for every single game or every single day of the set yeah which is uh unhealthy <laughs> like what is that man 19 hours that's crazy that is crazy that's a little warm up you know oh <laughs> man i don't know man tft grinders are something else i don't know yeah all right let's take a look let's set the stage we are looking at lol nenko yeah sorry oh i thought you wanted to look at the we can refresh real quick look at the standings Lol Nenko in casual, he is fourth right now. Oh, he's the one at uh, Emerald 2-0 LP. So he's actually uh, setting the baseline. He's holding the baseline, and then that means if Kira or other and or, or even Ari is able to promote, jumps over Lol Nenko. Yeah, this is so spicy. I love this. And uh, I think it's pretty funny. Like, the two people at the top of casual, they both hit Emerald 1, and they're just, like, chilling. Don't want to, like, risk anything. Yes. The final day for sure. Wait, how close is Arya? Oh, she's 93 LP. Okay. Yeah. I mean, she's got enough time to play three games. Yeah. Oh, man. Zero LP is so scary here. Yeah. I mean, basically, everybody there is going to play three games. It's almost like a tournament. They're all, they're all playing three games, and then they're all going to just see who does the best. Cool. <laughs> yeah. It's almost like it's a tournament. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay. We have something very interesting here. We have Escort Quest Lose Streak. <laughs> yeah, we, that is uh, unfortunate, yeah. 
it's escrow cast loose streak but clearly lolneko tried to level he's at four out of ten so it wasn't like he stayed purposefully to loose streak i think he's tried to level and force the win streak and it just hasn't been working and I, yeah and I, and I think that uh in situations like this sometimes people like double level and whatnot um to try and like forcibly get tempo back he, he's not playing uh he's not playing as strong as board either because you kind of want to play around things like Shen and Aatrox early as well, so... If he wasn't going to make Econ, he should have played the Shen. Yeah. Or Aatrox, yeah, you're right. Oh, and he makes At neither. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta probably sell that, too. Oh, wow. Oh. Oh, Bard? So he's trying to go for Vertical Mythic. The problem is, this is making any items. Oh, he can make an Adaptive, I guess. If you're fine with, uh... Yeah, if you're fine with, like, not really playing Bard, yeah, I think Adaptive. Eh, I'm sure our Adaptive Kench is fine. Yeah, or you could play, like, Adaptive into uh, Lilia as well. I think it's perfectly serviceable on her. Yeah, I think Adaptive Kog'Maw is mm -hmm. not bad. Yeah, it's good like, item holder. It's not bad as a flex play. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But uh, Adaptive on Kog'Maw 3 is really bad. Ooh, okay. He could actually oh. win. If he levels to 5 here... Nice. Yeah, he actually wins. He actually wins. And then he has a Mythic Emblem holder. No, 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 no. Uh, okay. I mean, it's fine. Let's, let's, let's at least get five mythic in. Put on the Garen. Yeah, he's deciding if he wants to play the Garen or if he just wants to play Nico. <clears throat> well, yeah, you know, Nico, I can sympathize with this situation. If you take Esker Quest, try to win, and then lose, you just, like, feel like the game's... Oh. Oh, no. Oh, jeez. Oh, Two <laughs> mythic emblems? I know you're, oh yeah, everybody probably started with a spat, and then... Oh, right, right, right. It might be a spat to the portal. Oh, man. Well, you only oh. need two Mythic Emblems to hit 10 Mythic, right? At level 10? Uh, yeah. that is correct. Man. And he's sitting on Bard with Ginsu's and another bow. <laughs> oh, man. And, and, and the duplicator. To, duplicate for Bard, too. Yeah. Oh, what? Wait, wh wait, 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 wait. I'm a little confused. Why did he just sell those two Kog'Maws? He wanted to make gold? Oh, no. He, it, it wasn't Econ. Yeah. Is he forcing Bard? I hope not. He has no bows. Wait, this wait, is a terrible spot to force Bard. He should not have sold the, the Kog'Maws. Like, there was no reason to. Even if you weren't going to play it. Wait, let me check his match history. Is he a does he, is he a bar gamer? Build? Yeah, I was gonna say that could be it. Because the from like the body language you're seeing, he's like, it feels like he wants to play bard no matter what. Okay, yeah, you're reading that from the body language. Yeah, what? Wait, I just took a look and he only plays bard three every game no matter what. Twenty out of twenty. I oh, see. Twenty twenty bard. Okay. Ah. Uh, That's why he uh, sold the the Cogmos. Yeah. If this is uh, so as a professional commentator. This is where you say, like, hmm, well, this is really interesting. We'll see how this works out. For him. But because it's not, it's not that environment, I'll say he might be fucked. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm a little, I'm a little, his, yeah, this looks a little rough. This spot looks hard. Yeah. And, oh, Bard is actually really bad with Mythic Crest. Mm. I, I could tell from his body language that he's going to get dropped a bow here. <laughs> oh, I do. Yeah, I can tell by the way the Krug yeah, true, uh, true. Is, is positioned that oh, the one God. on the, the back is a bow. <laughs> and the one front right is, is a rod. Oh, something um w worth mentioning for Esker Quest. I'm pretty sure positioning the, the dummy in the corner is very incorrect. Because uh, it just randomly gets hit by stuff or something? No, it's um like your priorities are uh win and print but if you can't do that at least win and <laughs> after that job. lose so you should actually position the dummy like one left of bard or one up left of bard so that yeah, the yeah, dummy yeah. is the second to last unit to die and then bard is the last unit to die oh uh, oh what okay we, yeah we okay. should have made a uh, stone oh. plate stone plate was much yeah, better stone than plate for uh, sure. plate, yeah and he actually, also, that's actually true bis uh tom Kench having stone plate uh dragon's claw and redemption so oh we were leveling wait oh play around escrow quest oh he, i mean i want uh, okay i can explain what's happening okay he, he is assembling the bard board no matter what and he's like these are the units that go on the bard board i'm gonna click them and put them in 
Wait, that's really interesting, Sagem. Let's see how it works out for him. Uh, I know. I'm listen as the <laughs> non PFT expert here. I can give you the expert analysis of this category, which is he is clicking the units that go on the bard board and putting them in. I mean, the no one advantage cost. that he has from doing this is that he gets he's tailoring uh, the traits for the augments. So maybe he gets exactly something that he needs. Yeah, that's what he was doing. Ooh, sorry. See, that's a professional commentator right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Trying to justify that's the TFT his plays. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's like when someone's like one HP in a fighting game. You say, "Well, you know, they're not out of this yet. There's a couple of hits." And oh, he's a genius. He, he tailored I mean, but a twice. Fighting game that could actually come back though. What? <laughs> don't say that. Don't, don't do that. Okay, one uh, one blind blinding speed right here. Are you guys ready for the the oh prismatic? Oh my god, prismatic! Oh, oh Pandora's item oh. silver. Oh, that that's actually like an out. If you have to find force vintage, oh, pivot. find vintage. There's no way we're going find vintage. That's not it's happening. Door, that's your out. That's your out. Okay. Not with that he's attitude. Oh, oh, but he has the reroll full item. Oh, oh, he, is he, oh. he, he see he better. sees two duplicators for bards. He doesn't even see two duplicate. He sees two bards. Yeah. <laughs> he just sees bard. I like yeah, one that. bard this turn, one bard in seven turns. That's what he saw. Yeah. That's how. No, I love that. It's, it's like, okay, if we're sure that we can hit the Gwinsus. Two Gwinsus. Whoa, whoa, what? Oh, okay. He, he's just <laughs> I actually like don't even think this is bad. Oh, oh. Wait, wait, what? Okay, I actually oh. like that. I actually like that. He's probably thinking he has to escort quest. He has yeah. to fuck escort quest here or it's screwed. Interesting, you know, interesting. I might have actually been down to like go one step further and level to make sure you print, right? Because like if you lose versus level, win, and print, it's the same outcome econ wise, but you save HP. Oh man. Also, I'm really glad that he duped the uh the Kench, not the Bard, because the Kench is way more important. Kench uh, three, Bard two wins. Man. Bard three, Kench two does not win. But he has yeah, no damage, Kench, so like yeah, it's rough. Say, he has he has no items on the bard. If he had if he yeah. had items on the bard. There's a I'm really good. This... There's a really, really good chance we don't win a single fight this entire game. Yeah, <laughs> I'm I, just I putting it out there. We might do the uh, uh, the, the 13 streak into eighth. <laughs> uh, yeah, I was gonna say how many rounds in a row do you have to lose to die without winning a round? It's it's about 12 or 13. Yeah, 12 or 13. But yeah, okay. The pros, I mean, like obviously this game makes one tricking look really bad. But like the other thing is like when you one trick, you can improve really quickly. Yeah. You can climb to ranks like that are not normally possible in a short amount of time if you one trick. But it's just at the downside of like sometimes like this you're just completely screwed. Wow, you, you just described every fighting setup. game player ever. They just one trick everything, I, man. I think that's everything though, right? Like <laughs> yeah. the way the way you get good at everything is like a lot of times if you want to do it fast is you pick uh you, you it's like a sharp angle, right? You pick something very narrow to hone in on and just like do that over and over and then once you're at like a high enough level where the competition gets better, you just round out yeah, there was this one streamer in League of Legends who played Riven like a ton of games in a row. Yeah, only Riven. Oh, I know who you're talking about! Uh, wait, Adrian Ares. Here. That guy was so cool. Yeah, his name, uh, he plays Ken in Street Fighter VI. His name is Adrian Riven. <laughs> oh, he wasn't he actually cracked he at around. fighters as well? DBZ yeah, fighters. He's, he's really good at fighting games in general. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, that guy's a beast. This is really important. Lol, Nenko needs to get a rod here, because the best in slot bard oh. involves three rods and two bows. Oh, yeah, okay, there's awesome. no bows. He's I was really curious to see. Oh. Wow! Wow! No! No! Oh, no. no! There's Dude. no way there was exactly two rods, <laughs> and they were exactly the first two things taken. If, oh my god! If, and he's if he top fours, he's the goat. Like if he top fours in this game, he's actually the goat. He might be the best TFT oh, player of all time. And, and he won his fight as well, so he lost yeah, his pick. He won the <laughs> fight, which made him. Oh, the oh duplicate. The duplicate play made him win. Oh. He should level to seven here. Oh god, dude! Wait, don't roll, don't oh, he's rolling at six. six. No, 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 level, level, level. You, you got it. Too late, man. To, like, oh. It's too late. It's too late. Oh man, I know that head oh. tilt. Any, any, anywhere. That, that is universal dude. TFT language. I mean, that's not even like. Yeah, you can't. I mean, that sucks. <laughs> that's not even your bad. <laughs> that just sucks, man. Uh, that sucks. Oh man. But that's the beauty of TFTs. He can always come back from this spot. If he top fours, I'm he's the best, actually. The goat. He's There's the best bar player play ever. Options. Like I think if if you put like the the best player in the world in this spot, he might be able to like find some interesting flex play. Really? 
I mean, there's, from there's... the lens of playing Bard, it is pretty doomed. Well, I, we haven't seen the other Bard. There's another person playing Bard, right? I, I, have we even seen if they're actually committed? Yeah. They're, I mean, well, I'm pretty I mean, sure they're committed. This. You have Kench 2, you have Mythic Emblem, and you have Storyweaver. Couldn't we, like, if, okay, remove the fact that we're, we're a Bard 1 trick right now. Couldn't we, like, try to move on to Lilia and, like, salvage a 6th? Lilia yeah. is, is, is not that good, and we have, like, no offensive item direction, and are broke. Okay, but, like, Lilia's not that bad. If you actually hit, like, the Mythic plus one and the Escrow quest, you, like, you can still play Lilia into a fast nine. Like, yeah, like, it's not uh, amazing, but, like, it's still very much good enough to play, I think, in my opinion. Okay. If For I were chance. Ever truly given up on the game, a really funny out that actually works a surprisingly high amount of the time is you can roll it down for a three star and then pray for Rikabob. It has happened before. Is that possible okay. with Holy gold crap. silver I just, start? I just saw him scout and five players in the lobby have uh, team building. Uh, oh. It's not possible to hit a silver Rikabob. Oh, unless you're talking about the encounter. <laughs> oh, I didn't realize that you couldn't. Wait, do you have a chart for that? Like the No, I just have chances? a command him chat for it. Oh, what the heck? Also, let me just pause. I, I didn't know actually. if there was like a public list. Oh no, you just so you just add just you just add it as like chat commands and the bot spits it right back at you. Oh. oh, we are lagging. Uh yeah, you want me to lower the quality? Wait, when when he scouted though, the other bard player was still on bard one, right? Yeah. I think so. I think this game's fine. He he's got this. <laughs> oh, man, believe. you're so optimistic. I, I love it. it. All right. Oh, oh god. He's got this, bro. Um call in right now. Two rods and a boat here. Oh, Azir! Azir. And a, and Azir. a Nautilus. What? Why the Nautilus, bro? You got this. Bro, yeah. It's not... The, the game's actually The game is giving him an the out. Line. The game is giving him an out right here, right now. Dude. But, okay, looking for the match history, I think he does feel more comfortable playing the... Just, the like, trying angle. to hit anyway. Yeah. I, I mean, he could... Trust me. It's happening. Bow he rod. Bow rod. Bow rod. So oh. oh. oh Wait, these are items. really good zero items. Yeah, they're amazing as your items. Oh, oh this is good. If only that was a bard oh, and or catch. Oh. He's, we're rolling for bard, brother. Oh, yeah, we, we have to roll here. I mean, Mario, thank you. <sighs> uh, okay, what if he has a Huey? What, you think he'll pivot then? He would play the Huey to. To print Tom Kenjin like, yeah, bard. I mean, I would he took out, he took part, out the zero. Oh, zero man. I'm, you gotta know that you. I knew he was gonna take a zero out. Oh, God. He just took out the best unit on his board. You guys Wait, are. So you so have to understand your. This is your area of inexpertise. True. I'll, I'll just let the experts do all the, do, do all the talking. Yeah. Oh, no. His contester has four bards and two dupes. Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah. you have to like make sure you're watching this from his POV. Like, Yep. He is a bard one trick, so he will. Unless like there's like five of zeros in one shop, he's going to force this. I mean, if you think That's about cool. it, he's really the main character because no matter how bad the oh odds get, he never gives God. up on his string. I mean, easy. Yeah. What the? What the heck? Um, I feel like I would roll down like almost immediately in an attempt to get Kench three or like, uh, get one off of Kench three because it's contested. I don't think he's in a spot where he can wait. He's gonna wait. Okay, what, what, now, now imagine he says, yeah, now I fast nine. <laughs> he just takes his lucky ricochet and he's like, yeah, now it's time. It's always so sad when you get Gunblade first. Uh, it's like yeah. an important item, but it always wants to happen last because it's based on how much damage you deal and you just don't do any damage yet. <clears throat> it's really sad. Yeah. Kenshin is a beast. Shoujin, though. The Shojin yeah. was uh, the only real like play there to save HP with that sword. Although the Soraka should probably be next to um, the Sivir. Is Sivir better, or is Zoe better than um, Soraka? Zoe two is better than Soraka one, I think. If you have um, like both of them three starred and you have items, like who would you slam it on? They both have sixty mana. Probably Soraka because her if, assuming you have Altruist activated because Soraka has a hidden fourth item and that's Altruist being a gunblade so you kind of want her to heal. Oh, that's fair. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, I always find Zoe so weird because she like either stacks up to infinity with her passive or she gets nothing. 
Yeah. But she can't she is really good as like a cleanup unit because like if you have oh. a lot of units that just oh my god alive. Oh my god. Oh, oh shit. wait, he, he got two dudes right back. Right now before the other guy does. Wait, but his, his contestant right is gonna have Bard three right now. Yeah, that's true, that's true. Yeah, you have to roll and just get as much Play as you can role. before the other guy does. Well, Bard? Yeah. Fat. No, no, Whoa, no, 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 he's no, taking no, his no, slow. No, no. Oh no, he's rolling anyways. Oh what? man. Whoa, man. Wait, we duped and then rolled? We duped, we, no, we rolled, then duped, then rolled. Oh, the, the sandwich. Yes. The other guy yes. has to have bar three, right? Yes. Because he, he had two dupes and four bards, and then he got two more. He, he had to roll for, like, the only winning play here was to roll for, like, at least two Kenches and one bard, and then get the Kench three and then tempo. He has, he has bar three. Yeah, the other guy's got bar three. Uh-oh. Yeah, bard three, Volibear three, Aatrox three. Yeah. Man, how crazy it is we're going to have four duplicators this game and we're still only on Bard 2. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> I mean, Bard 2 is winnable. You just got to get the Kench 3. I think he doesn't feel the urgency of the other player rolling for Kenches and Bards. Yeah, he hasn't, he hasn't looked at the board yet either. I don't know if he knows that he has Bard 3. Wow, he oh, wait, has he so much I just realized he's oh. like second to last pick. What? Yeah, he went on five. He, he saved a lot of health with the Kench too. Yeah. Oh, maybe we get the rod. Okay, the rod is the. Oh man. Oh, <laughs> oh man. Just got a it's belt. so painful, man. Oh, oh god. I guess D-Claw's fine. Yeah, kind of wanted to go for like an anti-heal component, but like it's whatever, I guess. <clears throat> Maybe, wait, wait, is the other bard player going to die? Maybe an out he's thinking about is the other bard player uh, will die and then I could roll and hit. The problem we is the other bard player. The other bard player has to be so stable though, right? Yeah. Okay, we can actually yeah, hit. We can actually listen. hit. We have two duplicators. They can, they can extend past the limit, so you can still hit. Duplicators will create new copies past the pool bag size limit. Wait, are you saying... Oh. Oh, that's good. That's Are you good. saying he, we could still hit Bard 3 or Kench 3? Both. Why not? There's 17 okay. copies, so you can go uh, Kench 8 copies for both. Kench 3 is very doable. Bard 3, like, even though it is technically possible, like, you basically have to get, like, four of the remaining, like, oh. five Bards, which is really hard, and then double dupe. We're losing to Kindred. That's not... Yeah, but the, because he's a Bard, like, Bard will come to him. Like, this is his boy right here. He's the Whisperer. Yeah, the bard was. I always just at this point in the chat or in the game, I always beg my chat for a B. I beg yeah. him for a B, and then I, I, uh, oh yeah, anger at them if it doesn't work. We we forgot one important thing when going for this bard is we didn't offer a cookie to our opponent. Oh damn! Wait wait, wait. oh, what is he doing? Whoa! Oh, oh no! Oh man! I I wasn't seeing that. That one caught me off guard. Oh man, <laughs> he's, he's got this. He's okay, got this. Uh, Bard's, Bard's that home. doesn't do anything to 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 help us. I think. I don't think. Yeah, so. we in terms of like playing to our outs under the lens of like a Bard player, you just had to roll for the Kench and like maybe a Nico three. Yeah. In terms of like saving HP to like a sixth or seventh, this was the only way. I mean, he could he could also like yeah hit hit. Kench and then like play another carry if you can't get barred three right just right right it's right fun. it's like not the end of the world oh but... yeah mythic kaisa could be an interesting out it's a uh, it's... also for what it's worth duplicator math is actually like a lot of people don't understand it correctly wait that bard guy is dying whoa 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 whoa, 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 whoa. he's gonna wait, wait we just pumped the xp uh yeah he, he's not looking he's not looking at the other bard guy because you see his damage report it's um He's covering the rest of the HP. He's not focused on that. Yeah, the other guy, the other guy lost. He's at like 17 health or something. Yeah. That's actually, I mean, I don't, yeah, I don't know if he's like scouting because he just pumped, but like if the other guy dies, I mean, he could just roll it down 9,000 APM, hit bar three, easy, easy peasy. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, please roll for the Kench three. Yeah, it's fine. It. You need two Kenches. Okay. Oh. Mythic, Mythic. Okay, Evelyn Evelyn's good. Fine. We take Evelyn's those. Good. All right. Now we hit a Wukong. Yeah, he could just go eight, I guess. Like, it's going to be hard to hit three Kench or two Kenches. 
Nice. You go eight in this oh, roll. Maybe I like he still it. hits the Kench. Let's roll. I like, I like what we're saying. This Let's looks good. Let's roll. Roll. Go, 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 go. Go, go, go. Mm, a little slow, but it's all good. Pop the item. Gargoyle. What? Oh, Wait, we don't that get that more that components. The components. Okay. That, that was the last of the components. Yeah. Yeah, it is stage five, yeah. That is, uh, I mean, bow items are important for, for Bard. There is a chance of an encounter that gives you like specific components. That is true, uh, but the there's, no, there's no encounter this stage. Stage oh, six. Right. Stage we're, six one Zyra. We're playing over. around the stage six Cho'Gath. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Well. Oh god. Wait, but the other bard guy is four HP on and lost. Oh. oh. Wait, there's oh. Some of the other bard players losing, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The other bard player. Wait, this could actually. Wait. Be, oh. That put that expired hope. I think that was hope right there. Oh no, we made it an eco too. We don't need that. Oh, oh, oh Kench. Tom Kench. Kench, winnable. Bard. Oh, Bard. Nico, so Nico, so you Nico. Should, you should not pick up this Kench. It's not realistic. So the Sandra, that could from a Rage Blade. <laughs> yeah. Sell the ribbons and roll. Go. Sell the Bards oh. and roll. What, roll one more time. Yeah, he has. This, this yeah. round is worth like 20 LP. Yeah. Oh no, it's the, the mirror. Oh, it's the other bard. Oh god. Okay, at least like nothing That's he could have done would have won this. Wait, this guy? How is this guy losing? I'm, this guy has Titans Kench. Yeah, oh, he right. has one item, Tom Kench, which is unfortunate. The Titans didn't do Wait, anything. Wait, if he beats this bard player, oh, I don't think he's gonna win. But I was like, damn, imagine the justice. Uh, unfortunate. Yeah. Man. I wonder if he goes six tier. Let's see. Man, the cutscene too. And he that's, a, that's a pretty devastating because now he demotes, right? Oh, Ooh, it's a seven. He almost got a sixth. Sixth place from that's why I would have actually been whoa wallpaper. Welcome, welcome. Oh wait, right, watch, I think you demote to seventy-five no matter what. So yeah. Okay. In terms of gotcha. like today, it doesn't really matter if you go fifth or eighth because like you go to seventy-five no matter what. But it does affect your long-term LP gains by a little bit. Wait, that means how many of them are at Emerald Three now? There's like four people, right? Wait, five. X Epis and Saber just went offline. Can we see what LP is at? He's at 109. <gasps> Interesting. He's sitting at 109. He got uh, it first. Oh, he got yeah, because he's ahead of H June and Frog, so it's like he has to wait for them to jump ahead of him. Wait, somebody, somebody is Emerald Two now in the Casual League, also. Uh, custom. Somebody, somebody went up. So. Yeah, it's gonna be close. Yeah. Now, now most of them are Emerald 3. Okay, yeah, Wait, I see. Another Saber's person, sitting. Senpai Star, went up to Emerald 2 also. Ooh, right, Custa just went 8th. Oh, Custa just went 8th and lost all of his LP. Oh my god, it's gonna be a bloodbath there. Oh god. Oh wow, he was facing against Kira Hoshitori as well. Man. This is okay. Arya Sake trying to play for Emerald 2, and she would jump ahead of everybody now if she's able to. But she's level 950 gold. Wait, she's That's the queen hell. of Fast 9. I respect it. I'm, I'm always a hater of Fast 9. I, Damn, I look at her that spot. In the patch, Fast 9 is so bad. Look at her spot. No, oh, you don't actually believe buff. that. You don't actually believe that. Fast 9 is so good. Wait, I go Fast oh, 9 I, I feel like, like every other so, game. Um, like, I go Fast 9, and then I lose to a guy who, like, hits Sun of 3. I feel like without hitting your 2-star legendary, it's, like, not playable. And hitting two star legendaries is like harder than hitting three star Senna or three star Bard. That is all true. What you said. But fast yeah, nine is good. That's my opinion of it. Like, oh, yeah, her spot if you want to go so first, then fast nine is great. But like, I think fast nine tends to go eighth more often than. than She's not going fast nine. She's going fast ten, bro. Wow. Yeah, she is pumping XP. And then I think fast it's correct. I think it's correct wow. because uh, she she has I balanced agree. budget. And yeah, also, yeah. Uh, she has switching gears, so she's gonna get even more gold from like breaking her loot win streak right now. And she has an encounter. Encounters in these kinds of spots can give resources. I think it's a really good spot recognition. She's gonna hit Kha'Zix encounter, and then oh and shit, then she's going first. I like that. It, 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 no, 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 it's bad if she hits a Kha'Zix encounter because she already pumped her money. Yeah, but you're, I mean, you're not supposed to pump your exp just yeah, in but case I mean, you hit the Kha'Zix encounter. But it's still good because it probably only benefits her when everyone else is already capped or like yeah, she's going goals. 10, bro. She's going 10. She's chilling. What do you think is the power level of a seven story weaver kale? 
Uh, it depends on what version you play. If you play red, it's a lot. Uh, it, it, it's I think red caps lower than blue right now. Blue? I've seen a lot of people have been talking about blue. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, blue. Oh, China. Man. China players basically ex exclusively play blue most of the time now. Guess China the outcome. Planning? Oh. Oh. What are you gonna choose, Ariasaki? She lose. She lose. She lose. Oh. She oh Giga Jet. Hesitate. Oh, she's gonna level to ten and roll to win. Uh, oh I my god, it. I like that! Oh, win. Gold? She said, nah, I'd win, bro. Roll? What do you get? What do you got? Come on, roll for Galio 2. You need this 14 gold. Yeah! Oh, that's big. Here's oh, Wukong. Wukong. Wukong's Wukong. better than... Wukong. It's better than Lee Sin? Uh... And a, a better, better than Alawi. Better than Alawi. Better than Alawi. Yeah, Alawi goes out for Wukong. Does she see it? No. She might be thinking just two star, and then want to keep it. Yeah. Okay, Sniper's focus Udyr is really funny. He's gonna punch. Oh, like th this Udyr is, it has a chance of like either griefing or doing the greatest play of all time. What would be the greatest play of all time here? Oh, charging through and just grabbing the Senna. Oh, he was on his way. He just got distracted. Is that possible? If you, if you position on the correct side, but yeah. Oh, 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 okay, oh, win. oh, she'd win. Oh, she'd, she'd win. She'd win. She'd win. Grab this Wukong. Wait, grab this Wukong. Diana. Woo, grab, grab Woo. Grab Does Woo. she see it? Woo, 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 woo. She, she wants Rakan. I, I understand, but like Wukong Rakan is the combo. Might as well grab it though. Oh. Yeah, and Diana. Oh. Oh, heavenly. Heavenly emblem. spat. Heavenly spat. She. This might. I mean, she's winning this game. I think no. Wait, she's, she's so yeah, good she's at going. Good I didn't see what happened earlier, but she like. We tune in twice. Gunblade. And she's both. Okay. She's level nine each time. Yeah. Yeah. My gunblade looks good. Okay. Four mugs looks good. Okay. Yeah, one mugs for a galleon. Uh, okay. You Brown. you could. Uh, oh, okay. Okay. Whatever. Just, yeah. Just tank item. Oh, third item for Galio. That's not even that bad. Oh, and she already has a decal. This is actually really good. It covers all her bases. I will. Thank gold. you. Okay. Bro, I mean... she. I forgot. She's not even out of money for balance budget. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, it, it's smart. It's smart. That's on wild. Yeah. Oh, Maybe grab God. this orn. Orn over Alawi is huge here. Does she see it? Yeah, Orn over Alawi. Agreed. Very good. Yeah. I don't think it's happening. I think she values the two star a lot, but. Yeah, she's thinking think she about likes, five costs you... when you go to 10. Yeah. You're like, okay, 25% odds. I'm just going to play for five costs. Which is totally fine. Like, unless you're trying to be a pro, like, as long as you make the correct overall decision, which she is making, uh, she'll be fine. These small optimizations might cost one placement, but it's not going to cost her the whole game. Her, her overall game plan is very good. Yeah, and her spot is really good, too. Yeah, this Udyr's not died. He's just taking the, the Syndra cast on a chin. <laughs> just not we need to move any these damage. items off of a Zoe soon. What are our options? Uh, so there's a couple ways you could play the spot. One, oh, oh, my that, God. That one, that one. Pick me, pick me. I know what the option is. What, what is it's what time? Is, what is, what is, it's time. Yeah, 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 yeah. Pick me, pick me. Do it. Uh, it's Lissandra, time. Lissandra. Fuck it, roll to zero. Oh. 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 Okay. Oh. She didn't see it. Well, it, it's it's kind of hard to oh. break apart Seven Story Weaver. It feels like it's like the reason you got here, and so you kind of like feel a lot tied to it. But yeah, at this stage of the game, like. You'd rather have Lissandra 2 than like a Zyra 1, even if you lose a little bit of KO power. And then that, that yeah. applies to things across the board. If anybody's out there watching in the audience wondering what you're supposed to do here, uh, the correct term, I believe, is called peel back. It's where you drop your two st worst story weavers and replace them with two good endgame units. So you drop like Sivir, drop Zyra, put in any two legendaries basically that have synergies, or like Udyr Orn, or Rakan Diana, or Lissandra plus Set, something like that. Yeah. Yeah. Then you sell another. Once you're ready again, you sell the next two <laughs> worst story again. weavers. Riven. Oh, yeah, Riven. Down eventually, three. Galio. And then you just like only have uh, a couple units. She has so much money too that like, if you 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 could just sell all the units and then roll for the stuff and then mm -hmm. be and then just put your board together yes. very nicely. It's a but... pretty hard option to find though. I, I agree yeah. with Broden's analysis that Ariyasaki probably is thinking this kill uh, with seven story weavers too good. Yeah. So she's probably only thinking of like one substitution for Alawi and that's it. Yeah, which yeah, is yeah. probably good enough for a second, maybe even a first if she hits enough upgrades. It's good enough that's for a first, definitely, if you can hit like Rakantu and uh, from this spot. And I really too. Yeah, exactly. It's one of those things that like when you're not super experienced, nice. it's really hard to to like do it because you're you're. Yes. It's too scary. It's too scary to sell all the units on your board and then do stuff. Like that sounds terrifying. 
Yes, another thing she's thinking that. probably right now is that this is working right now. Why change it? Yeah. If you change it, you have a chance to throw the game. Mm -hmm. If you keep things the same, you're like guaranteed a top two at least. Yeah. And in her spot, maybe she's nervous because of the eliminations coming soon. She just wants the guaranteed top Man, two. Man, I'm getting more dogs again. It's also really scary to do and really hard to do Lost it right. You have to do it wrong a bunch of times eyes. to get it to start doing it right. You know what I mean? Hmm. Like you got to just do it a bunch and then you get used to it. Zebem, thank you for the Something three I'm thinking about though is that this Udyr just has zero synergies. If we want to keep the yeah. Udyr on the board, Alawi must be swapped out for Orn. That is true. Oh, yeah. I do think Udyr is like a unit that you can play without synergies, but he gets, I mean, obviously he gets a lot better if you play around it. Also, Alawi is doing nothing. <clears throat> she's like, just, yeah. yeah. She's, yeah. Giving you, she's giving you an Arcanist. Uh, okay. Okay, I'm down. Gotta Let's go. roll. You should honestly hit Lee Sin 3 from here. She could, she could. She could hit Lee Sin. Wukong over Alawi is great here, if she sees it. Here's his Ira pair. Okay, oh, this is what oh, she's been on. looking for. He has Irelia. Oh, she's going for Irelia 3, oh. I like it. Yeah, I like, she like, thought, I like that she thought about it. Oh, okay, slight miss there. She needed to store Weaver's Beth though, Lee Sin, because she scales off of star levels. It's not that big of a deal, though. Oh. Or just hit a Rakan 2 anyway, and then it's like you didn't even make I mean, she is, she's 10. She can just hit a Rakan 2. That's true. At uh, level 10, you get those legendaries like every single shop. Udyr is actually tanking a lot. The, the Zonias is distributing the damage from Syndra and spreading it out, which is really effective. That's a kill. This so... is probably a situation where she needs to move those three Zoe items onto like a synergyless Hui 2. Okay. This is huge. Okay, now surely now we feel like we can start peeling off of some of these sto story weavers. Oh, I think she sees it. Nice. Yes! No! Oh, I like even that unit. Wait. Wait, wait. <laughs> Soraka is definitely a unit where, like, if nobody tells you that Soraka adds a lot of value to your team, you probably won't see it until oh. somebody tells you. Uh, oh. She just got rid of the knock. It's it's hard to like imagine how much value the Soraka gives you. Yeah. Uh, right. Until like somebody like lays out the math for you. Yeah. Oh, I put, like, I... She gives two team wide buffs. Yeah, I play Soraka on every board, monkey and banana. Yeah, Diana is the same way where it's like she's also two team wide buffs and just like a good unit, ultra flexible. Yeah. But I think she yeah. this is good enough to take it first. Yeah. You know, just, wait, wait. You no, know, it's good. It's oh. good. It's good. Good enough. It's good enough. Hey, she did it. Look at that. GG's. Dude. Yeah. That's she is really good climbing. Thing. We nitpicked a lot on the small things, but like she made the correct overall game plan. Mm, that's huge. And now she's in the lead of uh, uh, of elimination. Oh, where is she now? Where, what, what LP? What LP? 33. Emerald 2, 33. She queued it up! Wait, she's yeah, a Chad. She's still yeah, there's playing. no she's chance she's up. stopping. Yeah, there's no chance. She's a beast. Because Nenko is Emerald 375 and Custa is Emerald 20, so she is very she just she made the jump. She made two spot jumps. Yeah, but and, she's yeah, about she's to she's about to go to she's, top three. Oh, any love actually right made Emerald she's 2. She's super safe. And Kira is coming. Oh, okay, okay. You know, there's a chance Arya streams from right now until tomorrow's eliminations. <laughs> true. <laughs> That's true. That is true. Oh man! All right. Like you um, think she's gonna queue it up till midnight, but it's not midnight tonight. It's midnight tomorrow. All right. Let's take a look at Custa. What are we cooking? Custa, I believe, is now fourth because Arius I could just passed him. Emerald yeah. two zero LP. So he's safe right now as long as he doesn't lose. Like as long as he like top fours his last two games, he's like almost guaranteed safe. I Unless, don't like somebody gets a meteoric rise. I don't believe he's safe right now. Um, I think oh, really? any love is Emerald 2, like 14 LP or something like that. He has a Galio. And he's oh, like wow. five with 30 gold with two. He lost the last two fights. What happened? Uh, it's, he might have just hit that, but uh, the support item should go on someone that's like more positionally flexible and not the actual tank. And so yeah. you should put this on probably like Zyra or something. Oh, man. Okay. He's probably thinking, just put it on your best unit that doesn't have any items. Sure, yeah, and he'd rather have items on Galio than not. Yeah, but like, I think what... this Galio is fine. Wait, he has a Galio! Yeah, he has yeah, a Galio exactly. 3-1. He wins!
wins! Galliot 5 Ooh. while playing Story Reaver. Like, men wish he they lost. could be this guy. He lost. We lost. We lost. <laughs> no, he, the, pro the big problem is that he, they're all one star. So, like, he has all the units. He doesn't have any upgrades. Man, I'm getting more dogged again. Wait, he was eighth last game and After lost thank 46. You. Uh oh. Yeah. Uh oh. Oh, he shouldn't, but oh man, he'd be a challenge. Fine vintage. Actually, I think this is a spot where he. Oh, I mean, I mean, the thing, the reason why I think he can is because he really has a accomplice. So he can get you know. two four costs and a five cost. Oh, 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 if you were a Chad, I think he's, he's gonna do it. it. Oh my Wait, god! Yeah, put the part on the board. Oh, I got a set. Okay, early set's nice, but like, wait, that's I actually he... insane. Wait, he got set Syndra. Yeah, he did. Yeah, yeah. Really? now he can just play for seven faded, and he has rage blade already. Oh, oh and he has a Oh my god, you could just know you're fine. But his yeah, set could uh, start scaling infinitely from yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. And his rage blade. Oh, nice. He's let to, him he's squat. To put let him squat. He needs to put you. Yeah, yeah, he needs some some units up there. In the slot. In the slot. In the slot. <laughs> oh my god, what a lucky set. Squatting a Nico and a Tristana. I like it. You got to start okay. somewhere. I, I, I'm pretty sure he doesn't come from um, like a TFT background. He comes from a different game background. Maybe he doesn't know that you can, if you have Recombobulator, you can close the augment menu, put the expensive units on the board, and then reopen the menu and take Recombob. But like, he could have gotten a couple more forecasts. Yeah. I, I actually yeah. think he doesn't know, because that's a very unintuitive thing. You have to see someone do it before you realize you can do it. Yes, yeah, I saw someone do that, and I was like, that is cheating. Why is that allowed? <laughs> and then it, it did not occur naturally to my brain when I saw it. For yeah, sure. you can do it. Oh, we got ZZ Rod. Oh, Warmog Tristana. Oh my god, Warmog <laughs> to make your Nico extra thick. Yes. Oh, actually, oh, okay, Warmog's so Nico she's too so is much better, but Warmog Tristana is funnier. Okay, That's and true. then surely you replace this Tristana for an anything, like a warden. Yeah, warden or uh. Oh, Ari. The he like even the, the Shen is better. Oh my. Okay, warden. No, that's right there. Does Click he see him. it? Ah! Oh, no, no, was, oh. oh God, no, this doesn't exist. Annie. Oh my God, we have a Trist as a tank instead. Okay, okay, that's better. Right, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Whew. Oh my God. Roller coaster of emotions. Boy, that was. He skipped two. I Nautilus wouldn't be surprised is... if he was told that Nautilus is the worst forecast in the game. But wait, wait, he is. He's garbage. Yeah, yeah. But like, he the worst forecast in the game here is still a very applicable in this situation because they forecast warden. Yeah. But I think somebody told him that, and then he probably like doesn't see Nautilus as a human. Or, or alternatively, he is now playing faded, so he's clicking the faded units, and that was not warned. <laughs> That that alternatively, me faded build now and not Orn. That's my guess. Do you see how fast he filled up his team builder with faded? He he had that muscle memory down, so he knows yeah. exactly how to play faded. Wait, I don't even remember him opening it. Was he that fast? That I didn't see it. Oh yeah, yeah. He, he he it was lightning speed. <clears throat> also, I will say that uh, some people are like questioning whether or not he should say last whisper, but I think that um. While it's not the best on it, I think it's totally fine given his spot. He just wants to he wants to play it for as strong as board as he can and get to level eight with as much gold so he can get to seven faded as soon as possible. Yeah, a lot of people are probably thinking like, oh, you shouldn't slam the last whisper. Aphelios already has built in shred. But actually, like, I uh, surprising last whisper has a good delta on Aphelios. Like, it's not horrible. It's not as best it's not as good as the red buff, but like it's close enough that you may as well. Yeah, and, and Sunder's only 20%, so, like, in the end, it's still a pretty significant DPS increase in the late game. Oh my god, this set's such a Chad. He's gonna squat a Kindred and a Nico. Wait, hey. Nah, squat, squat the Ari. The squat oh. the Ari. No, 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 squat the, Nico, uh, squat the Kindred. She can jump away. Squ no, no, you squat the Ari for the, for the ship. Romance. Yeah, yeah, for the... Yeah, I understand. <laughs> for the fans. Okay, squat the, Ari, squat the Ari. For the fans. For the fans, also, come do you on! Think this? Adaptive Helm Syndra oh, is best in slot. Is this guy really an Overwatch player? He sees it! Oh, wait. He didn't see it, sorry. Adaptive. I got excited. Adaptive is better than blue buff on Sindris, very surprisingly. Uh, are you talking about in the stats? Because intuitively, it doesn't sound better. Yeah, intuitively, it feels wrong. 
but like in the stats it actually performs better whether or not that's actually because it's better or if it's because it's like a flex play is up to debate but like if you actually look at the comparison one to one blue buff gives you ad which is useless on syndra ap which is useful and then 10 less mana and an earlier cast and then every time you kill somebody you get an eight percent damage boost uh that like refreshes itself it doesn't stack up but it does refresh itself adaptive helm gives you ap magic resist and then 10 mana every three seconds which is exactly enough for her to cast like it's always she autos twice gains mana and then casts oh giga Chad set so adaptive like lines up perfectly with her like casting pattern uh yeah that makes sense i think part of it is also like the really low sample size but it kind of reminds me of um of twisted fate last set twisted fate was also really good with adaptive last set but no one slammed it on him wait really i never slammed it on him i always I always went for the attack speed. Oh, uh, Adaptive was like, for a period of time, actually like one of the better items you could have built on uh, Twisted Fate last set. Uh, and, and it was really good in the data as well, and no one really did it. Oh, I had no idea. I, I wasn't a data nerd until uh, this set. I only recently learned what a Delta was. Interesting. I'm excited to see how, uh, how much you improve now that you've started looking at data like a nerd, like the rest of us. Oh, yeah. I played my first... It wasn't until like the fourth time that I hit Challenger where I was like, you can look up stats. I just played everything off of feeling. <laughs> Is that how you play League of Legends too? Did you like always like look? Oh yeah, I, I don't look up stats. I, I, I play everything off of feeling. Old school gamer. I see it. <clears throat> there was a very weird um, thing that Riot did to me. I don't know if I say, should say did to me, but like they invited me to come to the office for something. And then I was like, oh, for what? And they're like, Oh, we can't tell you. Just come to the office alone. What? Uh, and I was like, okay. And okay. I came to the office alone. Uh, and they just like put me in a room with a computer. And they're like, go ahead and play. It was just like a sandbox game. <laughs> Wait, what? Where, uh, there was like, where I was Riven in a custom game. And they're just like, go ahead. Just play. And I was like, okay. And then I just like start clearing some jungle camps because there's no champions in the game. <laughs> and then uh, after like 15 minutes, they come over. And they're like, so? what do you think and then i was like i noticed that my q is like it it doesn't feel like i'm landing my combo anymore even though i swear i'm doing the inputs correctly and they're like interesting and then they let me leave and then they told me afterwards that they changed ribbon's q animation uh by one frame and then they were interested in seeing if i would notice okay wow and that's it. The, like, no, yeah, no lunch, it. no thank you, no, like, no. Here, meet John Riot. You just peaced out. That was it. Okay, interesting. And then I was like, thank you, and then I left. <laughs> Fascinating. They were, like, testing out a change to Riven, and then they were seeing, like, if it would upset me, or, like, if I felt like it was less fun to play the character now. Interesting. I, 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 feel, like, I feel like they could have just sent you a, a, a potential build. But maybe, those were the old days. Those were the old days. Little Buddies is really good for Faded, not... by the way. I'm just putting it out there. Oh, really? Yeah. He should reroll for Faded Crest first. You pay so many ones and two costs. You can, uh, you get, you get a lot of attack speed for set and for. for we have to play around the Syndra then, but I'm down. Syndra is actually kind of a beast with a uh, seven Faded. Yes. If we do this, I would probably prioritize leveling to eight and then getting out seven Faded. Uh, is he like already there? Yeah, you oh, can just level uh, for it right over now. Nico. Oh, you can just play this as well. That's also fine. Oh, Aegis value. Wait, I think he needs to stop rolling. Oh, I, I, I know what he's thinking. He wants to dupe Aphelios. You know, I was out of the room, but I heard your story. You know, it reminded me that people are so good at detecting like micro changes in the game that there was like an update with no patch notes for fighting games at this tournament. And everybody was like, this character in Guilty Gear, they nerfed all his normals. They're so much shorter now. Like, it's crazy that they did this. And then everybody was like, holy shit, you guys noticed that? And then everybody went home, and it turns out nothing changed. <laughs> <laughs> the character was literally the exact same, but, like, all the people that tested the game were just like, they just didn't fucking know how far his normals oh, went. That's funny. <laughs> that's so funny. So then everybody was like, these fucking British people literally cannot tell how far this character's normals are. Never trust them again. Oh, God. They self-reported. Yep. <laughs> Ooh. Wait. I would take... Oh. Yeah, right, I, I, feel like, I feel like uh, declining is because you think you want to roll for Aphelios 3. Oh. Oh. 
Yeah, I mean, he is uh, not leveling, so he's he's clearly going for Aphelios 3 in this spot, but uh, he didn't scout first to see if he was contested. Yeah. Okay, if, if he does this and then moves on, I'm down. Yeah, I feel like... You need to level for this Ornn. Yeah, set this early, like, you gotta just... You gotta just not re-roll uh, Aphelios. Um, streamer! Agreed. Uh, Aegis value, Aegis, Aegis, put the Aphelios under the Aegis. Ooh, he's got some Aegis. tasty food. <laughs> what is he eating, actually? <laughs> what is he eating? Oh, he doesn't know! He doesn't well, he's know! He's got some pasta, it looks like. Spaghetti. Bullen she is like the super cheat of um, support items, because you can always put her next to the support item, and then she'll get the value, and then hop away. That is Hello. all true. You're not wrong. Hello. Spaghetti. What up? Hi. I don't there, think he, he doesn't realize he has support happen? items. He doesn't realize. Somebody needs to tell him. No, we're not allowed to help him. We'll just let him let him suffer. Maybe he'll learn an later. hour. Oh, Dude, yeah. it's so actually he he's in it for the long haul. He knows that he has he's to so grind for another for hour. He's... He knows he needs to grind for another hour and fifteen minutes, so he needs to keep up his stamina. If yeah, if he wasn't eating and instead was clicking his mouse to move Kindred over, it would <laughs> fail him in his time of need. <laughs> yeah, he needs those valuable <laughs> calories, man. Those, those calories, calories are so important. And yeah. also the earlier you eat them, the earlier you start digesting, which means they get into your body faster. Oh my <laughs> that's just optimal then. Yeah. Yeah. Uh huh? Yeah, these are the kind of optimizations that we're looking at here in this division. <laughs> I came we in at a, a weird time. A what? Yeah. We need a rod. Bloody, Ow. if you're not doing calorie optimizations, then this is something to look into. I'm just letting you know. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah, I'm taking notes. Hold on. I got to get my notepad. Mm -hmm. Can we unmute him for 20 seconds? I want to hear what he's thinking. Because. He's, he's eating spaghetti. He's going to be slurping. slurping. <laughs> it's just him slurping, dude. He's eating. Um, <laughs> he's thinking about the Aphelios, but he took little buddies. Little he should slurring. be thinking about the Syndra. I'm going to be careful. Nah, he should be thinking about that next yeah, bite of spaghetti. Yeah. yeah. I don't, I don't <laughs> about, he's like, <laughs> he's thinking about Chef Boyardee, baby. <laughs> he's thinking, yeah. <laughs> thinking about a meatball, spicy okay. meatball, bro. The best play he can do here is definitely I don't move the cloak off of the thresh and slam an adaptive. Although. Adaptive backline is a play that, unless someone tells you is good, people won't really think about it. So really? he's never Bro. been told. He will never even consider it an option. What do you I think counter, about? I counter your analysis with his best play is grab a little bit of a little parm, <laughs> right? And do a little grating of some Parmesan cheese right Bro, on top. Oh, oh you had me, man. You had thing. me at Parmesan. Yeah, that's what, what I'm fuck? saying, bro. Just get a little. Oh, he could also get some dry parm, like you know the the parm that's like uh, it's dried. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dry none of this parm. craft that's... brand bullshit. Yeah, the yeah, real that's what I'm shit. saying. The real yeah, shit. yeah. Box box has got craft brand bullshit, but in this boot camp we got dried parm. <laughs> Dude, he's top eight. He can afford Whole Foods at least one trip. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. At least okay. one trip. <laughs> Wait, is, is this person about to get eliminated? Uh, uh he's, he's, he's like on the line. No, they're actually about to get seconds. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and that's where the parm comes in. Bam, the parm oh, double play. Uh, oh. ZZ Rod actually has Any way love... more health than Yasuo. You could bench it. Any that's love true. just past um, Custa in the standings. Is this Custa? Custa? Is now you. Yeah, this is Custa. Yeah, that was right. custom. Oh wow, the line is he is, in third he is really not making progress on this bowl of spaghetti. He's I saying, was gonna say the bowl is so. Is this full. an infinite? <laughs> is this an infinite yeah. food hack? <laughs> it's like responding. I, I'm like every time I look, he takes four bites Dude. and the bowl is more full. <laughs> this is how you know times are hard on Overwatch casters, man. They have to they have to ration out their spaghetti bowls. <laughs> <laughs> it's tough bowl being esports talent these days, guys. Oh my god, <laughs> it's unreal, man. Yeah. Oh, How would the, and that problem is, you know, you're so replaceable, Oh, the bowl's right? down. Yeah. Hold on. Yeah, the, the, I'm going to get okay. serious. We're ready for the roll down. We're going to go eight. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. We're going to roll for... Oh god! Right, good roll down. Good roll down. Um, he needs to look at how his contestor is doing. Someone has faded crest. He needs to just go eight, probably play Orin, roll for Cinder two, roll for Orin two. He moved the mic in, which means the bowl is not in play too, because mm, that's how, you, mm. like, obviously he's yeah. not clearing real space for it. He know? benched the bowl for this turn. He did bench the bowl. <laughs> It's a scaling buff. <laughs> yeah, cl uh, clear desk, clear mind, you know? <laughs> yeah, that's, that is, you're so right. The thing is, he's not scouting his competition because his dog kid come into his room and eat the spaghetti, so... That's what I'm saying. You gotta be careful. <laughs> the spaghetti matter oh, is maybe crazy. Crazy. <laughs> Okay, okay. Level, are we rolling level, or, level or are, we go, are we going to eat? Rolling level, or going to eat? first. Oh, There's no way items. you roll, right? Well, he's low, right? He needs to roll, like, right now for Syndra 2 or... Oh. Oh, oh. 
Okay, well, I, like no, this. I mean like level then roll, not like oh, one, seven, right? shit. Oh, 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 yes! Okay. Yes! He sees it! Now you roll for Syndra, get a jeweled gauntlet! What? I mean, this, is fine. this is fine, this is fine. Okay, but now you need to roll, because you're at 25 health. Nah, yeah. he's gonna win, he's gonna win. Just watch. Nah, he'll win. I like that he has, we have not seen a single oh, other this skin. this person just got Volley Bear 3. Uh-oh. We haven't seen a skin of another board all game, because he doesn't even click the other boards. He, it's spaghetti, <laughs> it's spaghetti this or his shop. Game, okay? oh! That's it, yeah. I like that. Hey, look at his set. His That's set kinda... has got his eye on the money. <laughs> He's yeah, going for the idiot. It's Jason. That's actually huge. Oh, Tristana finally got away. Okay, but this might contribute to him having two lives. Yeah, possibly. I mean, this, he loses this fight, but... Uh... Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, so he gets a, what, 13 okay. health here? 14? Oh, this is actually two lives. Two, lives. two lives. Yeah, this is two lives. <clears throat> oh, what's the encounter, though? Oh, HP no. or what? Would, it's HP probably HP, because you have That's mixed damage. HP, I think. Yeah, unless you're very hard in one direction, it should be always <laughs> HP here. Whoa, what? Level. All right, uh, yes, roll. he's rolling. <laughs> okay. Unless yes. you're what? <laughs> yeah. Wait, he still has Orn 1, right? And set 1. Yeah, he's oh. still on set 1. Ooh, Udi, oh. I think he realized. Orn's actually he okay, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, but... Yes. Um... S. S. Oh, okay. oh, oh, please sell your things for the Orn, please. Yeah, sell the Threshes. Uh, also, no, 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 Trimmer, no, 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 you, have a, you have an Aegis. You have an Aegis. Yes! Yeah, yes! Yeah, yeah. yes! This is okay. character development. Oh, my God. The custom character yeah. development. Wait, wait. The way he moved Syndra, he put one arm behind his head and then slowly moved Syndra <laughs> like it was no big deal. It was the most lax. <laughs> Bro, this isn't is a dunk contest. There's no style points for judging on. And that's oh. what I'm saying. I love that. I just he did so relaxed. He's like, oh, I'll God. slide this over here. Okay, I know I feel this is like the best three cost of the of this set, but like a, an itemized Cinder two with these augments would actually go very like jeweled gauntlet, adaptive, and then any damage item it would actually oh. kill. Oh, by the he by locked the orn. by the orn. He Sell locked for orn. He, he locked. locked for the orn. He locked for the orn. He's not gonna oh, leave his boy behind. He locked. He locked. He locked. 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 I mean, is he Wait. thinking that he's gonna get what? Uh, <laughs> no, I mean, he you believes sell the, in the Thresh 3. <laughs> you sell yeah. the Threshes and the Ophelios there, and then you just buy the Orn. Oh, oh. oh yeah, you definitely okay. buy this. Very good, spike, very good. Spike. Wait, oh, I love please. his optimism. Mm. He just believes that he'll hit. Oh, never oh. mind. <laughs> Why did we lose? Just didn't, just didn't make gold, huh? I see. He wanted the option. Wait. He wanted the option. Oh, he's scouting? Oh, oh that Fader guy looks strong. That guy. Oh. Uh, oh. 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 <clears throat> Wait. Did he same side and Oh um... no, he same sided as Kogma. That's okay. Yeah, this is fine. I th is he's it? gonna lose lose. Oh, this it's not I fine. Yeah. The Hue gets a ult on everybody. Yeah. Yeah, Hue gets ult on everybody and Kogma's gonna start is oh, like the within range. Oh, okay, we're fine. Oh, we ascended. Nah, it's fine. Oh, okay. It's fine. Wait, watch, we watch, 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 watch. Yeah. We win. This seven faded trade is not very balanced. It's uh, it's the, very the faded OP. units just don't die. Did you see how much Ophelia yeah. is healed right there? By the way. Set on carousel. Set on carousel. Blue buff. Orn. Orn on carousel. Archangels. I actually think archangels blue is better than blue buff. Or archangels are huge here. Yeah. We already have adapted. Oh my god. Oh yeah, archangels gosh. better than blue buff. You guys don't even. He. He. That's not even archangels. That's. One step closer to a Felios 3. <laughs> yeah, that would be he's sold. Getting, man. Oh, <laughs> God. Yeah. Time. That's huge. Yeah. Oh, here comes the pasta. Ooh. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> oh, that is midnight. Oh, nice twirl form. That is okay. some Oh, he set the fork down. Oh, I don't like that. You gotta Ooh. take that bite, man. You did all that work. Born. Okay, spaghetti in one hand, rolling with the other. Yeah. This is very easily top horrible. Yes. Uh, if, he, if he faces the ghost, he's done. Because Syndra just cannot do much to Shen. Oh, man. That's fair. He, uh, I'm scared. He has a shroud. Also, I don't know if he's going to use it. It's generally better to have your two carries same side, work on the same target. Okay, nice. Oh, okay, this okay. Set it's not right against Ghosty. Him, though. Oh, that set two is going to run into his back line and this just... This board looks scary. Yeah. No, no, yeah, I, this... I, think this is, I think this is probably the best fight you could ask for. 
The I, I think his Lilia. backline Lilia is just like so non-existent. Yeah, I don't know. I, Wait, we're fine. Uh, really, this board looks really, really scary. Look at Syndra. Syndra's going for the backline. She's got a PhD. Oh, oh my gosh. The backline oh. is oh. dead. Syndra's no. so smart. Okay, okay, okay. We're, oh, we're good. We're good. We're good. Let's we're go. Good. Let's I go. think he's dead. He's not dead. I'm sorry. Uh, Dude, that set trolled so bad. Did you see him just walk the opposite way of the yeah, camera? Yeah, he did. He <laughs> turned around. Dude. I, it, you'll take it. I mean, yeah, I cannot believe the set did not go that way. He's actually like a stone cold killer. He's he didn't put down the pasta one sec in there, bro. Not he's still holding minute. the bowl. What did you think he was gonna lose? <laughs> no, I I mean the pasta. The, the worst part is he still hasn't taken that bite. Oh, that's <laughs> kind of, that's yeah, he has it all prime. The catapult is loaded. Okay? Let it rip, man. I know he's gotta. <laughs> Wait, that's not your ordinary average everyday udir. That is foodier. Faded udir with. No, bro, his bowl is foodier, bro. <laughs> yeah, I think foodier is in the palm of his happen. hands, literally. He positioned both of his carries. Oh. Whoa, no, wait, whoa, whoa, what? This is the more important part. Wait, 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 wait. wait. <laughs> <laughs> wait oh, sorry, one of his subs said oh. shows the pasta real close. This is the greatest TFT player of all time. Front line, though. It's like a fight where he might die. Screen cameras his food. It might be Wait, his tournament life, no, but it's also... He, he oh, knows he's, he's not going to die, man. He, he assembled oh Exodia. Oh, my God. The confidence is, like, inspiring. Tank Syndra Wait, not doing much. So fine. His set has scaled up so man, much. Man, I'm getting more yeah. dogged again. Wait, nobody died. It's not a top four. Is real. Okay. Oh. All right. I will say that, that fight RNG was great because, like, that Udyr could have just walked to the back line, right? <laughs> yeah, he went yes, sideways. Uh, Udyr always has a chance of doing it, and if it happens, yeah. you lose. Yeah, he went sideways. Especially if he happened to go to like the block of Syndra and Aphelios. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <clears throat> Wait, so I'm pretty. God, we didn't get these items last round. I'm That's pretty inexperienced so with this comp. Uh, late game, do you want to bind Sed and Thresh or spaghetti and garlic bread? Uh, spaghetti and garlic bread first. <laughs> can't sure. forget. <laughs> yeah, that pairing There's is actually <laughs> so imbalanced. Yeah, where's the garlic bread situation here? <laughs> That is a great we need point. An item Dude, for you can't hit garlic Gunblade. bread. Gunblade. Oh, it's pot of gold. Oh, it's oh, right. oh, he's got a level. Gunblade. Oh, that that's just a that, yeah, that's just a level Gunblade. and get set Gunblade. too. Gunblade. Gunblade, and then Gunblade. go level, and then do stuff, yep. and then yes, and then level. we level. Level, level, level. And then level, you play level. Ash. Oh, what? we're oh. rolling. Level. No, wait, no, oh, what are we level. rolling for? What are we rolling for? I think he's rolling for a set. An eight. He's rolling for a Oh my god. <laughs> he skipped the oh, he's rolling for Syndra oh. 3, man. He's going for Syndra 3? Syndra 3? Oh, okay, it's a, it's this could GD. be a fifth. Oh, yeah, God. oh no. If it's a fifth, he demotes, right? He says 0 LP. Yeah. If he went oh, wait, 9 and just said. <clears throat> no, no. Oh, we are not winning. Shop. We are very dead. No, it's a fourth? No. It's a fourth? It might be a fourth. Let's see. These two are fighting each other? I think it's a guaranteed top four. I think. Uh, Wait, it are might you be sure? a one unit. One unit lot. Oh, oh, that's oh wow. wow. He's alive. He's alive. Holy. Oh, that's, <laughs> <one through brow. laughs> that's some Wait, spicy I love this pasta guy. He's sauce so right there. Oh, you know what he was probably thinking? Oh, I don't know if he like, saw this far in advance, but his opponent did hit a Morgana 3. So he oh, might you know, have been thinking he had to hit something. And like his only out was the center three. Like he maybe. still has not taken a bite of that pasta. That's the worst part. Is like that. I know. He that... twirled like twenty minutes ago. <laughs> now it's just getting cold. Yeah. Uh, let's go take a look. Is anybody at the beginning of the game? I mean, we could watch uh, Cust Custo Custa again. He just started. Uh, why don't we do it? Why don't we do a, oh, wait, what's in, a check doing? on boxboxtft.com first and see, let's see who we have. David, thank you, man. Okay, so we have uh, oh, Custa's still in elimination range. Yeah, it's very close. And the casual department is so spicy yeah, right it's, now. It's all within my like 30 LP. Official Smigel uh, started a stream as well. Also, Ooh. if Dish Soap in the pro category gains 275 LP. <laughs> he, 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 Dish Soap's a averaging a five today. It's not he's eliminated. Pro pro is determined, I think, for the most part. Yeah, yeah. he also was like. 800 LP or something, or close to it the other day. Yeah. And yeah. She still ran it down. Bad. Wait, where is, where is Yugeli in her match right now? Because, like, her first place puts her she, in top she's four. She's at zero lost. LP. No, not top four. 60 she LP. Lost at zero LP. She's zero LP. Not working. What's up? Oh, yeah, no. 
Anyone else have this? What happened? Anyone else what? have one? I I'm trying to find any loves game and see how she's go. I see a black screen. On her Twitch? Does oh. anyone else see this? Uh, yeah, no, I, see I see the black screen. Huh. Oh, uh... no, she might be streaming on her phone again. Wait, it does say whispering because new roomie in parentheses in the title. Oh, oh, I'm looking at her chat. She's out of game right now. And I think she's hiding her client to avoid being sniped or something. Oh, she's em see, she's I Emerald see. 234. <clears throat> so she's... Oh, she's debating if she wants to sit or not. Yeah, she's deciding if she should sit. Any love? Emerald 234 LP. The only person who could catch up is Custa, Custa. or Lolnenko. Lolnenko is much Wait. lower now, though. No, Lolnenko can't very... catch up. Even if first place doesn't get you to 30 LP and you don't have time for two, I think. Well, you can get like a first and then like a third or something. Then it's a stretch. Custa is, is uh, 24 LP away from being safe. So I think any love is thinking about if she should play a game or gamble that Custa won't top three. Yeah. Because there's only enough time for if one Aria game. If Arya loses, then... Arya's LP is too high, I think, now, right? She's, no, oh, Arya's she's 33. 33 LP. Ooh, she, it wait. is very losable for her. She took Golden Egg. She took Golden Egg with 30 HP. Oh, Oof. shit. Yeah, good, Chad. Holy... Arya Saki went Epoch Fast 9 Egg. Oh, God. That is <laughs> not good. Okay, Epoch, mm. Fast 9, Egg, 33 LP, one hour left, Box Box, Top 8. She's a beast. I, she could do it. She's fine. Wait. She said, we'll get her health over, bar. but I'm not done raising the stakes. 30 if HP. She, if she just took a combat augment, she could have bled out to a fourth. Yeah, with Ghost she especially. is very confident. Uh... <laughs> Yeah. Wait, this okay, is she lost twice, so, and she probably was at like fifty something HP, sixty HP or something. But like, yeah, this is uh, she's too off. She's too off. Uh, Alawi also. That feels like. I feel a, like if I were in her spot, I'd just be rolling every single turn for any marginal upgrade. She, she did. She rolled it down. Yeah, she got one gold now. She also has a bad tattoo. Tattoo of vitality. It's, it's it's looking really bad, you guys. You know, you said that, and I looked at her hands. I was like, "What? What's going on?" Now? <laughs> I was like, Wait a "Oh man, that egg was a decision." Wait, I I actually can't get over how close her mouse is to her keyboard. Wait, you know what I just realized? There is a potential genius play here. I don't know. Like, I can't read her mind, so I don't know what she was thinking. But. She can only go down to zero LP. She can't go below that. So the difference between a sixth and an eighth doesn't matter. Knowing that the egg actually becomes a pretty high value play. <laughs> uh, I don't. I don't know. Six, six doesn't give you minus thirty three a lot of times. It's like you know 20, what else is a high 25. value play? Top four. Top four. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I don't know if I buy that. I'd have to look into the bowl. I wonder if we should sell this possible. Kaisa and itemize two star cane. Oh, I mean, if you hit the two star Kaisa, though. Yeah. I'm so nervous, right? There's a chance she wins out, though. Oh. Radiant Jewel Gauntlet. She is, I don't think she's beating I've been board. seeing a lot of this Kindred 3 build recently. Is it actually good? Uh, it's, it's actually pretty decent, but the problem is that a lot of comps adjacently contest Kindred. So, like, Faded picks yeah. her up for 7 Faded, and then <laughs> Yone picks it up for Reaper. So it's just, it's impossible to actually hit. Oh, it's no. probably going to be people's go-to for the next patch because Kindred gets buffed. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah I'm always else. sad. The three trait units are so hard to, like, three-star because they're so flexible. You can never three-star a Riven. Like, even if you liked Riven's design this set, you cannot play her as a carry tank. You'll never hit her because every Star Weaver player will have three. And yeah. the, the pool is too small. Mm -hmm. Man, she's looking real dead. Wait, wait. No, no. Epoch? Two free rolls. Oh, <laughs> Two allowies. Oh, it was Epoch Plus to get three rolls, Box Box. Oh, three. Ooh, okay, okay. Oh, no, she fucked up. Uh, she could have... That could have been an allowee in the orb. Okay. Oh, but she got Everybody gold does their item roll first. I feel like you should roll instead of figure out item first. right now. Yeah. yeah. It's a Morello. I mean, you don't have to... Yeah, just take anything here. Tier. Yeah. Sure. Roll. Roll to zero. You can do it. You're the best. It's going to be the very last roll. 
Stuff one out. last roll. Oh man, this is not good. Oh, no. Oh, no. Rest oh, in peace, LP. It was nice knowing you. At this point, you probably just like sell the uh, sell a Senna, then start selling Alawis, and just like try to salvage a six. Like it's actually sixable. Sell the egg. Yeah, sell the egg. Yeah. <laughs> Do you oh. get money from the egg? No, I mean, no, you can't. But even if you could, it sells for zero gold, so. Oh. Wait, maybe a seventh? We might have, like, one or two LP left? It's a seven. Oh, hey, we might have, like, a couple clutch. LP to spare. Minus 32 LP right here. No, we no, 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 we lost it all. We lost it all. All right, back to Custa. All right. Oh, H. June is in my chat. He's asking, is he safe? Can we look at the standings and see if H. June is safe in the advanced category? He's at 89. He should be fine, right? 83. Yeah, yeah man. Feels very I, safe. He, he's safe. He's safe. He's safe. Well, how's the how's official Smiggles game looking? Ooh, Custa. Oh, it's a NAR game. This is woke. Ooh. Woke. <gasps> yes. Oh, wait. It might be a Yone it, game. It should be a Yone game, in my opinion, but we'll see. We'll see. Depends on what he puts in his planner. Uh, yeah, oh, he's playing good. the heavily oh, units. Yeah. He knows. Ooh. He knows. Oh, look at this APM. This guy's playing with conviction. I like it. Andrid, he's Yone. Plannering, his plannering is faster than his rolling. <laughs> and he's eating. actually a beast of this planner. No, yeah, this and is, it's this eating. This is a spaghetti buff right oh, here. Oh, we, we, we got caught, caught, caught up here. Yeah. I got to say, I eat incredibly fast generally. So, like, why? Hey, this, sp this spaghetti has been nightmarish. Like, I've been really struggling here. I know that bowl has the exact same amount of food in it. He's not taking a bite. <laughs> <laughs> I could sense it. Not are you, uh, are you weird about weird eating unit. cold food? Are you weird about eating cold food? Like, if, if it's like, if you wait too long, you're like, ugh, I don't want it anymore. Wait, who are you Say asking? Jam, that's you. Say Jam. Say Jam. Say Jam. Say Jam. He peace out. All right. Oh. Went to go, he went to go get some food, actually. He went to go get some food. He, he is listening on his wireless headset, and he's going to come back. He's going to be like, sorry, I was away from my computer. And then he's going to say, cold food is disgusting. <laughs> oh, you know what? I'm kind of weird. I think cold macaroni tastes really good. I, I'm fine with cold food. I always, like, eat a meal over the course of my stream, over the course of six hours. Uh, yeah, I know like what you one mean. One bowl of pasta takes yeah. two like, like, one Chipotle burrito bowl takes, like, two hours. Wait, who is that streamer that just like swallows pasta whole? Custa. Oh. Like they just put like a spoonful of pasta in their mouth and they swallow it. Like no chewing. Hmm? This I, is I a human? That. Like I, a I don't know who you're being? talking about, but. It, it was a very popular streamer. I don't remember who though. Oh. Yeah. Oh, it was Amaranth. No way. Uh, okay. Wow. Yeah. Okay. What is Custa doing like gold? I think he needs to make ten. He needs to make ten. Yeah. He's like, not making any Allawi gold right now. Uh, I think he would, he like prioritized the Alawi pair over. Uh, yeah, yeah, he could have made gold two rounds ago. He might okay, so I don't know Custa's background. Um I would guess that he's like pretty new to the game and then he like got some lessons about like important things and try like kind of shortcutted up many ranks he's probably like way past where um people of his playtime are and it shows in like some of the like i don't think he knows the value of making 10 yes i wouldn't be surprised if just no one told him but like, so looking at his history he's played since set one but i think he's just a very casual player like he's never actually gone above platinum um, i see make 20, so I, th make I think he has a lot of like old habits oh, wow. that has not been unlearned yeah, and then there's also the element of, like, uh, a lot of people aren't used to streaming TFT, so, like... Yeah, streaming they, TFT is a different some, beast. Some people feel like it's hard to actually play when you're streaming TFT as opposed to off-stream. Mm -hmm. How is Sterex gauge here on Yone? Is it bad? Uh, it's okay. You, Sterex you... gauge is much more of a cane item than a Yone item. For Yone, you just want two titans, honestly. Like, two titans and a bloodthirster, is it, chief? I wonder if the tempo of slamming now, though... Makes it worth. Well, it's definitely I, good I mean, on the snar. I think you can slam the Sterex with the understanding that it's just going to go on the cane, like instead of the. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, like I think that's slammable. I think it's reasonable to wait, just like for your augment if it looks like you're winning this fight, which it looks like he is. How do you guys feel about the uh, the 
the mind game or like positioning game of yone where it's kind of like you always want to be exactly like if you're the yone you always want to like be exactly like four hexes away do you enjoy that or do you think it's like too random i think yone's thing is way too random because it increases every time you cast right oh. so it goes from three to wait, four wait, to five or whatever wrong? Oh, oh shit! Oh my here, God. We go, here we go. That's here a Yone we go. two. That's a Yone two. He the most put... legendary Yone two. Oh, oh, mm, whatever. Featherweights. If he plays no, Yone, don't get or, no, sorry. Nara here. If he plays Nar, I could be Silver Ticket if he wants to reroll. But I think Silver Ticket's in general pretty bad. Yeah, teaming up is definitely the best value right now. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's Yone. Ooh, a Yone. Whoa. A Yone. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Are we going six and buying this Alune? Okay. Uh, I'd rather just play Yone. Yeah, Yone seems um, to be a good unit. That's an R2 on his board, right? It is an yeah, R2. Yeah, that is an R2. Okay, then he's probably just, like, prioritizing playing his strongest board. He could slam a BT right now and just, like, move it to Kane later. Yeah. I think, he, I think he'd rather slam I think even, he Shroud even, even Shroud here. Even Shroud. The weird thing about even Shroud than... is, like, a lot of people don't want to put this on their main unit. But, like, if you put it on his Nar, it's basically putting a last whisper on your Nar. Yes, I, I think even trying on the Nar right now is very good. And then once you get Yone 2, you switch stuff around. You can always put it on the Malphite if you want to. But, like, making your Nar more defensive right now is good for winning fights. Yeah, and, like, if you're going to move, the, if you're going to sell the Nar eventually, yeah. you may as well just put anything on him. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Make him a beast. How's he looking? Baby, uh, thank you. Uh, he's in a decent spot. Like he's got pumping up two Yone's, good items. He hasn't scouted, so I don't know if he's contested. But uh, he is very um poor. Like he he didn't make yeah. econ at multiple times. Oh, okay. He definitely was supposed to just double BT the Nar, and yes. then yeah. I think he basically sees his Nar as if it was a Yone, and like you don't want double BT Yone. I see, I see what you're saying, yeah. That's probably right. Yeah. Also, the not scouting stresses me out. But maybe there's yeah, more power oh, in oh, just he's scouting, not he's scouting. pivoting. Everyone pay attention, pay attention. Oh, I didn't see this, this is the only scout you might get. <laughs> I mean, we, we, we meme about him not scouting, but what, oh, when most of us play our games, we also don't really scout when we're just like thinking about our own board optimizations. Oh, this yeah. was so not memeing. This was just me being like, I want to lock in and see who else is playing what. <laughs> It's like uh, it, every time I reroll, I feel like I always scout and then I instantly am such a coward. Like, I'm not brave enough. If I see like oh. anybody playing it, I'm like, all right, you got it, bud. Sell it like, We need econ. Yeah, he should. Sell something. Oh, oh, oh. Wait, so is that person playing Silas? Was there no Yone there? Oh, I didn't, I didn't realize. Ah. Uh, we have no open person. belt, so I think he's probably going to try to party his anti heal. But the thing is, I, I hope he, he does it. I hope king. he actually re re recognizes that king. Yone actually has anti heal. Oh no. Okay, half a BT or half a Titans? A lot, hey, of, people take, a lot of people take Vest and slam Sunfire here, and I think it's a pretty common mistake. Yeah, Wait, Yone, Yone has anti heal? When he does is dash, yeah, man. Yes. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, let's let's okay. begin the pivot. Let's wow, that's huge. That nice. is really, really big. Hopefully he's saving this chain vest for uh, Titans. Yeah, he, he, he um, might be greeting it, but... Uh, uh, streamer, play the Alune or the Ari. I, I think that play one of the, the biggest things is that he needs Kiana on the board uh, because Kiana is a really valuable unit for the Heavenly AD. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, just anyone over the Ari. He probably thinks he doesn't oh, have a holder of this item, but Lau is actually a good for holder. Ari. The thing is, Zari doesn't even, like, make Arcanus here or anything. Yeah, no, uh, she was useful, but I don't think he realized after updating his board that it, she is no longer useful. Yeah, I think he's just... It looks like he's considering... Oh, uh, actually, I'm not sure. Something really important here, uh, well, I, I, I think he missed it, but it, it's also a pretty hard find, uh, is that with the power of the remover, you can give Yone a suboptimal item and just, with the intention of fixing it later. Yeah. He could have done double BT Yone, for now, until Kane. Which double VT Yone is not that bad. But, I mean, it's yeah, not, it's not, it's not bad early game. Yeah. Oh, okay. So we got Shen 3. Whoa. Oh. On 3 6. I'm very Their curious if he's going to low. reposition his Yone every fight. Oh, they got Caitlyn 3 too. What the heck? Did they get like I two I wouldn't be surprised if the guy's like. 
he's probably rolling, which would be really weird. That is a big water bottle. That is a very big water bottle. If there's one thing we know about Costa, he values food and water. And that's probably why he made it so far, honestly. He is probably the most physically yeah. healthy uh, yeah. combatant in this boot camp. Absolutely. Yeah, food or food and water seems pretty good this patch for humans. <laughs> <laughs> he's really poor. I don't think he's gonna be able to roll. He's he probably gonna have to slow seven, which is going yeah, at four, four two. two. And I oh, and uh, really his bad. spot is in general like good enough for stage four, but uh, he can get really punished if people are spiking really hard like the the Shen boards. Given his past like habits, I think it's pretty likely he goes to seven because it's just like the norm. I think he's gonna go seven here and then he's gonna roll it down. Is it really the norm to go seven here? Yeah, uh, yeah, most people mainly for if tempo you have good reasons. Econ, you go seven here. Oh yeah. wow. I feel like I'm always going on three five. Oh, that's too early. Because oh. the problem with going at three uh, five is that you end up investing a lot of gold into your EXP as opposed to your roll. Mm. I feel so like I'm going on three five or four two, but not usually here. You should be rolling. A lot of people even level up on this creep round. Yeah. <clears throat> I like rolling down on four one to make sure that your board is strong enough to survive stage four. Hey, he hit a Titans. He hit a okay. Titans. That's really good. Don't level. Uh, Do not level. I don't. Do level. I don't level here. I think. I think he's eighty one. Uh, he doesn't have a full streak to protect, and I think he has a natural interval next turn. And then he's really poor. Yeah. So I think. And he also. The thing nice. is, like, he's probably gonna you, win. You always roll on four one with the incentive and in, with the mind of like, I want to get stronger this turn. He did. He actually got a Titans, which is like the true best Yone right now. So I think it's good. Yes. <clears throat> Would you slam more mugs here? Uh, no, I actually hate no. Warmogs. I think Warmogs is quite you, you terrible. Keep, like, like Belt for Even Shroud, Belt for Redemption, Belt for Steric Gauge. I think Warmogs is interesting. Is not the good. You're a Warmogs hater. Uh, I think uh, the I think comp, the item yeah. is awful. Oh, wait, I love it. I always just go Gargoyle Warmogs as a staple. I mean, it's, I, I, when when I think it's, it's kind of like uh, I don't think that you don't ever not slam it. It's like it's like sometimes if you have two vests, you slam Bramble, but I'm not happy about it. Hmm. Oh, well, Unified is really good as well if you want. Yeah, you can just Unified roll the others. Very, though. very good. Gifts of the Fallen is actually not terrible either. Nice. Good find. Okay, so we level. All right. Yeah, level and roll here. Kiana can go in. <laughs> nice. Nice. We need, uh, we need to replace this Ari with a somebody. I don't I mean, know I who. Think Four Reavers. So you want Kindred and anything. you want to roll for Kane at this spot. Kindred and Kane are the two things you roll for here. Does it, he see it? He he might be thinking like I want to roll above seventy, so he's like, okay, I leveled and I got stronger, so I'm going to now just roll above fifty. That's fair. And again, it's it's just important if it, his overall game plan is decent. Yeah, but he in terms of one for one, I think Kindred is better than Re two right now because even if you are playing only two or three Reaper, it's still better right now. Oh, it is one hundred four. Yeah. Uh, Who yeah. is going to hold the Archangels? Kindred. Silas. Oh, you you play Silas version. I mean, yeah, that's fine too. You could play it on Silas. There's there's multiple variations of Yone that you could play. Some people are now playing like Yone plus uh like Altruist and Silas, or you play like Silas plus Aatrox. Mm. I've been just told that uh, the advanced division got interesting. Can we take a quick second to go look at the standings? Uh, sure. Yeah, because this game should probably be similar to how it is for a while. Uh, oh, nothing whoa. has updated. Oh, no update yet. Okay, let's check back in a, in a couple minutes. The leaderboard probably hasn't updated. Okay. I mean, if they if they can be more specific about what's happening, it'd be easier for us to oh. find out. Oh, Froggy is down to 7 LP, and then Smiggle's oh, up to 54. Oh, well, the thing so that I was saying was interesting more. is that Tactician is up to 97 LP Diamond 1. Ah, oh, wow. That is oh. very close. Yeah. Oh, man. I mean... Yeah, Wait, that, that so happen. advanced actually is very interesting for the final spot. We can take a look after this game. Mm -hmm. They all have enough time for at least one more game. I'm really surprised right the now. frog queued. Oh my gosh. I feel like oh, he's, he's sitting at leveling. Wait, really? What? Uh, he just pumped 12 into EXP. Oh. No way, okay. we're tempoing Yone? Uh, I mean, you can. Usually you do that if you're contested, but is he contested? I don't think I don't so. Think I, I don't contested. think he was. I don't think he was. Also too poor to... Yeah. 
spot's kind of hard to not reroll Yone here. Yeah, you'd, you'd rather put 48 gold into leveling than rolling. I don't know. Yeah. That's tough. Wukong as a radiant Oh my item. god! Oh. Games are won and lost on the spot here. That cane with Hodge glove, are you kidding me? Holy. Uh, yeah, that's actually bananas. Yeah. You might get it. Not many people want Hodge. It's probably just him. I mean, they're buffing this item for yeah. a reason next patch. Damn, also, got only it. a specific unit kind of uh, kind of build wants Hodge. I mean, I think I think Hodge is like okay. It's just not nearly as good as a lot of other items. In this case, Hodge is like the best thing you possibly can ask for. All right, four Reaper. Yep. Oh, you know what it is. He's gonna he's gonna hit Wukong on eight, and then it's gonna be all good, and then just roll at thirty two percent odds and hit Yone three. I would level now in his spot. He could level and have like forty gold, and you could just play like anything for one round. Like uh, yeah, I think Yorick. At this point, you probably should have just leveled and yeah, like Yorick is good for Umbral. You could have just kept your Alawi in and removed it. If anything, I mean, it's Alawi two. Like Alawi two is Alawi two. Oh, I, I like the Warmogs on Kane, especially with the remover. That's really good. Oh, nice. This game's okay. actually gonna be a beast for a while. Uh, well, if it's not getting, if it's if, when it's not getting targeted by Senna three. <laughs> yeah. Senna, not against the ghostly board, but otherwise Wait, by the orc. Good. It plugs in so well. I I think he just has not recognized Umbral to be the plug in here. Either that, or j he's just thinking of putting in Silas and nothing else. I I think you yeah I mean you're just supposed to level there really right. Was... Yeah, level yeah whatever you can level, level with 40, Alawi. it's almost always worth it. If leveling was your game plan, it, then level... Like, okay. I would even level to 40 on a creep round. Or what? <laughs> what level to 40, huh? Level to 40 on a creep round. Wait, you got 40 units, bro? <laughs> I, would, I would level up and go down to 40 gold on a creep round just for the en enhanced shop if leveling was in my game plan. I would be so surprised if he doesn't level here. Oh my goodness. I, I think he thinks that he needs to level after the creep round. I mean, I'm, I'm so fine with not. I'm actually fine with uh, not leveling here. I think that like it's more consistent with the game plan that he's trying to go for, which is go to eight, hit Wukong, and then uh, roll for Yone three. While like, trying to finish tough, much heavenly. It's very considering opponent has Wukong two with another Wukong on bench. Level nine and Hui! Oh, this guy's got no help. No though. way! No way. This person could could just die in a bad fight though. That's true. That's true. That Wukong two with I E B T Titans. That way yeah. with radiant adaptive. Radiant hell yeah. It's tough because Custo is so well positioned for just rerolling Yone on seven here. Yeah, I he might have realized, but then it's like too late. Yeah. I mean, rolling it, it's not the worst because yeah, you can hit the Wukong, you can hit Kane two. Your odds of Yone aren't horrible either. Like he actually could still hit. Oh, calculator time! Oh my. <laughs> I do think that you, that Kane two is an insane spike here. Kane two is going to be doing two X with those Yone. items. Yeah. This guy yeah. is such a nerd. He said calculator time like a, he's a fucking <laughs> cartoon character. <laughs> <laughs> he said that. Calculator like time. Fucking, like he was the fifth Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle, bro. <laughs> he just fucking. <laughs> <laughs> that was unreal. I can't believe that. Oh, <laughs> supposed to go good. Titans here. Oh, that's nice. He also has a QSS. Oh wow, you remembered it. Titans, oh. yeah. They were, uh, put the yeah. Wood, he made the decision kind of quick. I think he'd yeah, rather yeah. have two decent items than just kind of like one floating item like this. Oh wait, no. Quick can be on Wukong. Never mind. Right, right, right here. Watch. <clears throat> yeah, you were really banking on this Wukong. I love that for you. You're like I mean, really hoping that's, for him. That's the only play Why you can just. Why is the cane in the back line? I don't know why really Kane is in the back. Him and Kindred go uh, way for back unified to their value. <laughs> he wants unified value. Oh, oh, you're right. Yeah. Mm. And oh, he oh, oh my God, shot. Yone. Yone moment. Okay. And uh, the results are in. The calculator says if he rolls down 80 gold at level eight, he has a exactly 50% chance of hitting Yone. Okay. From this spot, but it's like 80 Yone gold three? rolled down. Yeah, Yone three. Hmm. 50% chance that? of hitting four Yones at level eight. Okay. I mean, that's assuming uh, like an but... average number of three cars are pulled out and there's no one contesting him, right? Yeah. 
Ooh, lock but it in like, Zeke. Keep in mind, huge. he's not gonna have eighty gold. Lock he's gonna Zeke have like down. fifty because he's gonna buy other units. So oh his odds of hitting go down to twenty percent. Banshees, Banshees is so huge here. You gotta. But we need to yep. overcane too. Do you martyr the frontline or backline units? Uh, frontline always. Frontline. The fight's like over by the time the second martyr buff is over. Nice. You can do oh, it. Twenty percent chance, baby. Oh, it's what? happening. Roll it down. Roll it down. Come on. Go. 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 Please. You can do it, Custa. Oh my. He best. has. Oh, he's doing it. He's hitting it. He's hitting it. He's hitting it. He stopped. No, no. He, he, he keeps going. He's going. The rocket too. Okay. All right. He put his hands up. He put his hands up. Is he satisfied? I mean, he's, keep it, going. I think the thing is, nah. gold has been so bad this game that he is like just worried of running out of gold at this point. No, I mean, you click the D button until. Oh no! Yeah, the lobby's all low. I just yeah. think, I, I think that's the been the common theme is that like he's been weirdly conservative with his gold, even though he was like not making gold oh. earlier. And I oh. think it's like a it, it's like a seesaw swing. No, oh, like, I want man of Yone. So Yone. <gasps> Yone. Yone is so good at this Yo! game. Yo, that was so clutch. No, I mean don't Yone too is so good. There's a reason why, this heavenly build is like so is so ridiculously good for him. Mm hmm. Man. What a unit. He just went back there and mur the best part is he murked one backliner, came back and was like, and I'm gonna do it again. And he just <laughs> runs back there. Second cast, he just kills the last two backliners. Like, all right, bro. You can do it. You can do it. Okay, two more Yones. Oh, one more. Okay. One more Yone, one more Kane. Easy. Yes! yes! Keep going for the Kane. Wait, he why is he I mean, he, he, he tried to play for a power spike, so and he, and he got one. Yeah, so I think he hit a spike. Enough. He doesn't actually need Kane to. He can actually potentially push nine here if he wants to. Hmm. Oh, never oh, mind. He's a beast. Wow. He's a beast. One one <laughs> anyway, that's a, what, what did I say? What did I say? He's uh, he, he just like puts his both arms in the air Wait. above his head. Wait, hit, you and him were perfectly mirrored right there. That oh, was wow. Sick. You both did the same thing. <laughs> he also has this kind of genius positioning where his cane actually wraps to the back line almost every time. <laughs> yeah, the unified is like a positioning god. Like, it just it just turned out. Wait, sell one Kha'Zix. Yeah, he'll sell one Kha'Zix. He, he's ready. He's, he's got the mouse over it. Oh, wait, do we win this fight? Do we lose? Is Nar the beast? Nar gonna cook? Tiny but deadly. Nar, wait, wait, wait. Oh... Oh my. You know what that is, you guys? That's a quick sword. Sell the Kha'Zix. Yeah. Sell, wait. We're going for Kha'Zix 3? Doesn't he have Kindred too? Can he just sell the Kindred on this board? No, he was just so stunned by that fight that like he's... Yeah, he probably wasn't paying there. attention. Also, I, this is where like Last Whisper and stuff like is really important. Lack of shred, yeah, like that armor. Just, even just, shroud. You couldn't actually take it down. Last Whisper or even Shroud, either one will be very nice here if you can get it. Not the armor. Okay. Oh, thank God. I was worried he would think about free uh, trait. I think his front line is just going to die so fast that Last Whisper might just be better, but. Uh, well, he, do, he, does have, he does have this a free Nico's slot on the Nico. Lose her, this Nico's yeah, going to lose is, her. Yeah, she is, but she's not going to. She's going to die. Ooh, I, I'm a fan of Malphite 3. I think he's going for Malphite 3 and Kha'Zix. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Okay, okay. But we are going for yeah. Malphite 3, apparently. Yeah. Uh, what do you think is his plan for the QSS? He is, he's not going to get more components. I mean, I, I, I think oh, he's just interesting. It, personally. Even Trout on the Nico here. But I think he could just slam the He even wants Trout. to slam the Even Trout on the Nico, and he wants, but like, she has the temporary items. Okay. Yeah. Is he you you hold could do that, but there's also the, the five head play. You put, put it even... on Malphite, build the Malphite again, and rebuild. Oh no, you put the Even Shroud on Kindred because Kindred just jumps to the front anyways. And then uh, oh, she has a higher survivability rate. Like, she'd be shredding right now this Silas. Boom. Yeah, you're right, actually. <laughs> oh, this cane actually. Oh no, it's okay. not. It's a troll play, but I think it's kind of funny. I don't know. Dude, I did it once. He's actually getting to the back line. This cane is just Malphite? strolling around. Oh yeah, you should buy the Malphite. Yeah, he's eating the spaghetti. Oh. No, no, put the pasta down. You have to buy the spaghetti the dip. Buy the oh, yeah. He's keeping his eye on the prize. Oh no! Oh no! Okay, then sell the Malphite to thirty. And now oh, here's the question, though. Do you guys think he's gonna finish the spaghetti by the time eliminations happen? Absolutely not. That shit is gonna last for another week. There's no <laughs> way. Dude, what? What? He's gonna be eating the, this spaghetti like I'm gonna be telling my grandchildren about this bowl of spaghetti. Like, there's no Wait, way this ever the gets pasta finished. Down. You gotta he's slam gonna the hand down the, the spaghetti to his trail. younger generation. Yeah. <laughs> his kids will be playing in like you the must do what I was. I was not able to. Dogs boot camp. <laughs> Streamer, notice the even shroud. He's like, items are full. Oh, I'll okay. give you the fork. Continue my twirling. Please, he doesn't please, know. Even please, the even shroud is so useful. Wait, here, dude, please. his chat, his chat is going at it too. Oh. <laughs>
Okay. okay. He slammed right. it. He's okay. like, guys, yeah, I was chilling, man. Everybody calm down. I was eating my spaghetti. Just, uh -oh, just relax. That's... Wait, Senna is so strong. How did she ramp up that fast? I mean, I mean our, our, our positioning in this fight was pretty poor. We, we're, we're not it's even also trying a Lally to get three, the Shen three, ghostly. Like, Caitlyn three. Game. Such a close game. Two for one. Oh, wait, the bull is noticeably less full, though, now that I look at it. He yeah, has made progress. underestimating his spaghetti game. I mean, it's been not been good, to be fair. <laughs> like, it's not been good. So, wait, what, Froden said the positioning was pretty poor. That's how I feel about the spaghetti game. I feel like it's, <laughs> it's been pretty poor so far. It's, oh, it's been slow and not steady. Something we could do here that would actually be very interesting is instead of getting unified on front and back, we get it unified on front and the second row with Kindred like hopping back out to safety. That gets you Ooh. more optimal cane positioning. Yeah, he could do that too. Or, but the, he, maybe he's scared for the Soraka, oh. but... Oh, yeah. I mean, you can just replace uh, Rakan over Soraka. with another right unit. Now. Yeah. yeah. Hmm. The problem is what these items are kind of stuck on Kindred right now. Oh, another Titans. Well, oh, wow. Who's going to get... He's trying to go for Wukong gonna items. Titans? Oh, okay. He's going to sack one and try to go uh, nine next turn for Wukong, or for Rakan. I really disagree with this cane positioning. <clears throat> so consistently. Like, yeah, the, the... if... Oh, oh okay. whoa, okay. whoa, okay. All right. okay, 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 I like that, I like that. I mean, it's better than, it's better um, than keeping in the back. Oh, this is not, slam. Oh, not my God. a good matchup. There's a chance that, uh, you know, hey, slam the, slam the Titans on Nico or something. Yone could just go kill the Huey, though. Oh. Not, not in the he's way he's, oh, wait, him. hold on. The second oh, cast, wait, wait, the second cast. Yone he will, he will. might oh. do it. Yone! My God. Yo, there's no way. So clutch. We're going to win? Yeah, he wins. This guy's got the ultimate. Wait, no, unless he bugs out. Unless he bugs out. Nah, it's good. Wait, nice oh, yeah. Guy. He's just dead. That guy could have gone 10. He got it's second. He got second. That was the guy that was like nine earlier, right? With the yeah. wild board. Yeah. He had a crazy board and he didn't level up to 10. He had level up oh, 50 gold. All right. Oh. One roll. Wukong, Wukong, Wukong. Ooh, the One Kindred Wukong. is really good. Please buy the Kindred and put the items in someone on the hole. Oh. Uh, no, actually, these items are perfectly good on Kindred, I think. Really? Yeah, I, I think people really underestimate like just putting items on Kindred and four Reaper. I think it's pretty at solid. At that point, then just just slam the Titans on the Kindred. It just seemed like he oh. isn't no. committed oh. to oh. it. Swap side, swap side, swap. Thank side. God oh. he protected his cane with the. Oh Cossacks. wait, oh, this is not good. There uh, are Kane's gonna get targeted. Oh wait, wait, for two battles in a row. Wait, can can't or do Kazakhs in? Yone might do it. Kazakhs, Kazakhs a PhD. Yone. Oh, he's dead. Oh, wait Yone was second. thinking about it, but he went the wrong way. Oh. Wait, can he? No. Can he? Yeah, he's dash. Oh, oh, that was actually pretty close. Yeah. Okay. I, I think um, he has the right positioning. Well, I, think I think he can, can do this. Do it. Yeah. I'm just roll, roll first. Nico roll first to get you hit Wukong. Yeah. Roll, roll, roll first, first and roll see first. if you hit the Wukong. Roll first. <clears throat> roll twice. You can do it. Set. No. Layer night savior. Okay. okay then just okay, put okay. it on like Kindred or something. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Uh, he just needs to move his Yone two to the right, like where that Kiana is, and I think he'll win. E even one to the right is a really big deal. Like as long as he doesn't just oh, doesn't keep oh, it he's there. He's thinking about it. He's thinking about it. Oh, that's a little oh, bit too far in. right. That might be a little too far oh. right. That might be too far. That might, might be too far. By this one. Uh, we'll no, see. We'll see. Might, it, there there is a possibility if it's a Wait, Cal is he go to the Morgana? Hold on. Jump the Morgana. Oh, he walks to the side. Oh. Oh. Um, I mean, the second, second cast sure. will go towards Sunny. Oh, no. He goes to Sunny oh, here. No. There it is! Oh, he oh my he's god, he's a genius. He's just kebab. He's a genius. <laughs> wait, wait, Wukong on Carousel. Look at oh, Ultra Altruist Altruist Emblem. Altruist 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 really, really good. Yeah, he has just good. unlocked Giga Brain positioning, and you could see it in his eyes. Oh, man. If you find wait, the that's Wukong... like a character development moment. I think he just saw the power of last second swapping. Yes. All right, Wukong. Wukong. Wukong would be huge. Honestly, I mean, fine. He the, can still win. the thing the thing yeah. is, Wukong is like really good, but his team has just got a lot stronger with three altruists. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, that guy just went nine. If he doesn't move, he has to guess if the Senna's gonna move. I think he's staying. I don't think he'll move. Yeah, he probably might think that like it worked. Yeah, that person oh, is swap, 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 swap. React, moved. react! Oh no, no, that's oh, oh wait, 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 never mind. Don't react, oh, don't react, don't react. Don't react. Stands there. He the just no mix up, still and he my wins. god. We call that the no mix up, mix up. He just watched Custom the guy you. move, didn't do anything, and the guy moved back. The mix up is there is no mix up. 
Oh, there he is. <laughs> Let's go oh my god. Wow, he played oh himself. Oh my goodness. Oh, okay. congratulations. Final fight. Final fight. Oh, okay, man. okay. Now, now you don't move at all. Last second, you swap Yone, right? Like, that's. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. Just, now you go yeah. low. Now you go low, exactly. And this time, there Look, is a. He's got his figure up in the air. He's got the ideas. Oh, hold on. I want to yeah, listen to what he's saying. I'm going to listen to what he's saying. What, what, do you, what do you got? What do you got for us? Protect your kin. Oh, God, please protect your kin. Is this guy going to move things around? Okay, he's decided about <clears throat> not putting me in the pot. Okay, he's going to stay here. I oh. think I keep the cane over there. I think I just leave things. He, oh he's, my he's, God. he's on the end of this shit. I, I just need to keep the Yone on this side of the thing. But, but his opponent did change it up a little bit. Yes. He added more That's reinforcements kind of bad, for the, on, on the on the Udyr side. Okay, this Yone, now you go with the Magic oh. Conchal. What should okay. I do? Oh, there, it there it is! There it is! I'm fucking going, fucking going tomorrow. Wins, We're playing 12 hours tomorrow, chat. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, oh my god. Mix up, mix up first place. <laughs> He just yeah, did it. Yeah, that was it. some magic on so shell bad. shit. That was amazing. Amazing. Congratulations. You know, his wow. opponent's like, man, Yone is so broken. Yeah. His opponent's <laughs> just like, like, man, this shit is so <laughs> I really like, Yone thought so enough to win. Broken. Like, you already posted on Reddit. Yeah, he's like, oh my God. why is Mort Doggington allowing this to happen? Mortimer Doggington. That's unreal. All right. Is Sempi streaming right now? All right. Yeah, we should check in on the advanced. Oh, Ariasaki just demoted. No! Oh, no! That is bad. That's really bad. Okay. Oh, not Sempi. Emmy, any love? That's 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 her stream. So oh, yeah, she's still in class or something. She has thirty-four <laughs> LP right now. Wait, Texas so is at ninety-seven. In... Where is Lolinko? Let's give a chance. Ooh. Wait, what is, is the game from Masters? Uh, this is the game okay. for Masters for Tactician, and if he's able to get uh, into Masters, there's a pretty good chance he might jump a few people. Oh, this is Tactician's last game. He doesn't have time for anything more. Yeah. He needs first. Uh, I'm taking a look. Tactician needs to get 3 LP for Masters. He needs to get 57. Oh, that's a lot, yeah. Uh, let me... Let's go ahead. Uh, Smiggle is in fourth place in the advanced category at 54 LP. Okay. Let me go ahead and see if he's in a game. Oh, he is. Ooh. Oh, we should watch the Smiggle game. This is spicy. Advanced category is actually going to come down to the wire. Guys, question: I can, Does Smiggle I can wear also shirts? Report. Is this normal or what happened? There are some like streamers that just like never wear a shirt. Oh, he is no top slime. Of them. <laughs> slime oh, doesn't yeah. wear a shirt, but he wears a shirt on his head because he's bald. Wait, Smiggle and Tactician are in the same game? Wait, really? oh. oh my god! Oh, oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god. That's a, that's Wait, what's a uh oh yeah. Yeah, this if is if Tactician game. goes first and Smiggle goes bot four, Tactician beats Smiggle and tech, uh and Smiggle gets eliminated. Oh, it's an actual full swing. Wait, this yeah, is the so game. Smiggle just has to place at least like two below tactician to win you know what i mean okay tactician mm -hmm. hit thresh i uh, i mean the spot here for smiggle looks really good he has six yeah. ghostly up he has kaisa two already at five one and exalted six ghostly exalted is kind of and nuts. a really good um ink shadow item too i can also report that any love watched ariasaki die whispered yes quietly because her roommate was sleeping and then ended stream <laughs> uh, so I think Damn. she's sitting. Yes. Oh, we, we I, it's like it's like the Napoleon she's dynamite. Cold. Yes. She whispered yes, 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 and then was like, "I'm out of here." And she ended his turn. Wow. Can yeah, we swap like, to uh, like that, tactician um, spot? The girl like uh, walking away from a fire. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah exactly. But he just leveled to seven, or he oh. leveled to nine, and he found he found set for. Well, you already seven yeah, faded. Yeah, but like, uh, he does it's, have it's, seven faded. For, for him, it's it's really important for uh, for him to outplay Smiggle, not just him like top fouring. He has to outplay yeah. him. And yeah. that sits in the yeah. set too, I think. Wait, his his spot looks pretty good now. Who tactician? I have to look at his items. Oh, there's a that guy's double faded too. Ooh. Okay. Oh, his so his items. Just so we're all on the same page, this mm. is the last game that people have time to play, and tactician, and. Uh, Smiggle are competing for the same spot, the, the fourth spot, the fourth and final spot to move on to the final day in the advanced category. Uh, Tactician basically needs a first, or more importantly, he oh needs to place three better 
than Smiggle. There is a 57 LP gap. Tactician desperately needs a top four, specifically like a first or second, while he needs a Smiggle to like very, very bot four. His, his spot now looks pretty good. How Smiggle spot? Who Smiggle lost? The difference between a first and a fifth is enough for Tactician to move on. But if it's first and fourth, it won't work. Oh, if it's man, second board... and fifth, it will be very close. Okay. Oh my I god. I actually think their boards are like kind of even power level almost. Yeah, they both look pretty strong now. I mean, oh, I think that uh, I think that tactician has the edge if they will head ahead because he's level nine. And but uh, yeah, but uh, I will say that technically Smiggle has a counter matchup to faded because it's like the reason why this comp popped up was to stop comps like the faded comp. Yeah, mm -hmm. like no matter how you look at it, this is a very epic clash. They're even like wearing opposite amounts of clothing. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> he's actually zipped right, up indoors, man. like with lots of clothing on. He's he's like, hey Froden, could you look at tactician really quick? Let's see his outfit. Sure, he's, got, he's wearing he like a Golden beanie? State Warriors jumpsuit. Yeah, he's got a hat on, too. Yeah, he's got... No, dude, yeah, he that's all a, the way. Is that his hood? Okay. Oh, my God. He I is... mean, Tactician's board does look crazy. The question, is it four placements better oh. level crazy? He's playing I'm in blue level three. No, his cap here okay, is there's really there's good, I think. Uh, depends if cast Kale cast one more time. Oh, <laughs> no! That's blue kale right there. That's blue kale. Oh, That's blue kale. What? I've never seen blue kale before. Yeah, blue oh, kale. Oh man, then you haven't lived. <laughs> you guys tell me you played this entire patch without playing blue kale even once? You gotta queue it I've up. I've never after tried this. blue kale. You gotta queue it up after this. Wait, I always just default to red. I think it's only good if a seven story weaver though, right? I don't think uh, it's good. Five. Yeah, I mean, you're, if you're playing it, you usually because you're, you're, you have like a plus one. You're angling for blue kale. Yeah. Wait, I'm gonna be honest. I saw the Twitter post today. I thought it was an April Fool's joke. I didn't even try it out. <laughs> I think you should go back to Tactician because he's going to roll down for his tournament life for Aphelios 3. Yeah. He lost and then I think he basically did has not. it three Aphelios or it's over. Jova. No money. Okay. Mm. Uh, yeah, he's broke. That, that could help. Right. That, could help. <laughs> that wasn't much of a roll down, unfortunately. All right. Well, uh, well has gone. He needs set two. That's what he's decided now. I mean. Oh, this is interesting. Oh, he's trying he's to play around ages. the... Trying to clump around yeah. Aegis value. Yeah. I can see it. I see. Man, his board looks pretty... Oh. Oh. oh just not, just not the ghostly against... board. Just not the majority. Not majority. Okay. okay. Winnable. Wait, very winnable. Oh, if he beats this guy, this guy has so many of his units, he could hit Ornn and Set. Set 2 could actually first place. The whole lobby is like one life. Two lives. Yeah. This lobby yeah. so close, man. Oh, my God. Uh-oh. Oh, his back line. Oh wait, 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 wait. We take it. If it yeah, the, whoever stretches falls diff. first. Whoever stretches falls first. This Boom. is a blue buff diff, I think. That's right. Oh, we got it. We yeah. got it. Oh, okay. oh, is that the new cast? <gasps> oh. Easy. Well oh, done. Well done. He stepped well in done. front. <gasps> he stepped in front. <gasps> Aphelios going to clean up. Oh, my God. Battle the Aphelios is. Pick up the gold. Oh, no. Oh, my. He's alive, though. Five HP. Uh, we have no combat augments, and that guy had two. That's not good. Oh wait, we got uh, our we got a dragon got a spirit cult. component. Got nice. <laughs> <laughs> you guys want to bet this was like the first component he got dropped in the game? I know. Oh my god. Uh, okay. okay. What does anybody think? Like? Does anybody think that Gambler's Blade might actually be better on Syndra? On Syndra, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It, it gives you base AP and attacks yeah. for Syndra to cast. Aphelios yeah. Ascendra 2, Aphelios, like you probably just put it on her, yeah? Ghost board, Ghost, oh, board, ghost board. Oh, yeah. Also, um, the sniper's positioning may have cost him that last way, too. I'm not going to lie. This Ghost board looks a little scary with the Huey. Huey, too. And it all, he's really clumped. Yeah, he's really We clumped. have a lot of Omni Vamp, though. Yeah, yeah the Omni Vamp does help a lot, but. Faded stays alive for a while, usually. Fully it's... itemized Huey, too. Stringer, this tank pick up the one not... gold for 1% attack speed. Uh, this is bad. Oh, 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 Ornan okay. him, Ornan him. I think. Yeah, oh, we, got it, we, got it, we got it. We got it. We got it. Clean. Nice. Oh, oh my. Sneagle lost. Sneagle lost. Really? Oh, really? He did. He's still seven oh HP though. God. Oh my god. Oh my god. If Smiggle goes fifth. Oh. But he's gonna level. He's gonna. He has gold too. Yeah, yeah. He yeah, yeah. Like, ten. What does he put in? I mean, you can uh, put any in Arcanist, any Bruiser. Uh, you can put in another Bruiser. You can just play another Orn as well. <laughs> The Orn's really high value in a board like this because he's playing Cybernetic Bulk, so he can just always use Orn to get like more value on the board. Oh yeah, it does do that. That's smart. 
Man. He does have a forger. He can like if he gets a TG here. Oh, level up. Thirty oh, gold. Technician just hits a two. Technician hits a two on eight. Oh my. That's oh, game changing. Seeing, actually, he's not seeing much here. No. Did he get a trick shot? Wait, Udir. Oh. Oh, Udir with the Udir. We skipped uh, Udir. Oh, it's it's TG. Reforge yeah. the tier off king. Does he see it? TG. Oh. 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 Damn. That is a really Go good shot, though. He hit set that's a hard spot. Yeah, it's hard. Wait, are they fighting each other? No. No, no. no oh, this is a terrible matchup. Oh, Ooh. no. Uh, no. The ghosts are going to clump. Hang on. Then... I mean, the, oh, the problem no. is... Wait, wait. wait. This, this HR is trolling. The HR is walking away from the team. <gasps> yeah, yeah. This sets right. Oh, this HR is trolling. trolling. One. What are you Single doing, one. man? Oh, I think he's still dead, though. Uh, oh yeah, ghostly. Yeah, it's a terrible no. matchup. It's a terrible matchup. Man, I, I noticed that he chose red buff. Uh, but he needs to item move the gambler's blade off of Philios, red buff him, and then tech uh gambler's blade the Syndra. Damn, he lives with seven Dude, HP. He he makes it to so masters. Close. He makes it to masters, he, he but like it wasn't masters. enough. That was his masters game. That was his masters game. Yeah, that yeah. was a very hard fight. It, that was game number 25 for the day. Do you see this two bar? That's 12 oh games per, per line. That was 20, game number 25. He made it to that's Masters. Low, that's low-key devastating, getting a first first and then a fourth. Wait, you're Not right. He, he, like, made, like, the comeback. Yeah, yeah, almost, man. He almost made the, the buzzer beater. It's <laughs> such a bittersweet ending. God. Dude, yeah, I promoted a Master. He's like, get this shit out of my face. Yeah, oh. yeah, yeah, yeah. He cues it up. Okay. Kane encounter, Lethal Legends. <laughs> yeah. Uh, four, 14 minutes, 15 minutes. Hey, is Frog queuing or anything? Or... Dead. Okay. I'll take a look. Third place. Well, like, Frog at zero LP. Eighth place 23 minutes ago. No, I guess. I mean, if you get a first place, you can. No, no, Smiggle's going to go up. Wait, someone up. from. Custis chat said, thank you for flaming him about the pasta eating. We are running low on stuff to make fun of him about. There you go. We're supplying you <laughs> oh, no. with new things to flame your streamer for, which everybody needs, for sure. Sally looks dead. She went eighth. No. She lost her last remaining LP. Uh, uh, back over Kira to Arya Saki land. She needs a first, I think. Kira Hoshitori is in a game right now, and if she gets a first, she would kick out any love. Oh, oh is uh, Kira streaming? Wait, she's in the top two! Oh, wait, really? Wait, can yeah. she get enough? Go, she, go back to she needs... To who? To Kira? Kira. I, I can't really see because she is so large that she covers up the entire scoreboard, but it looks like <laughs> she is second place. And if she gets a first, she could actually overtake any love. She needs a lot of LP, Wait. though, right? Okay, and uh, according to the sign, we are not allowed to coach or backdoor her. No backdooring. Start watching is intended for... Oh, okay. Ah, uh, okay. I think it's a top two. It looks like a I top two. Three. Yes. <clears throat> oh, I see first... what you mean. Was this oh. a first? <gasps> oh, what? Ghostly. That's... Wait, that guy is about to hit a Wukong three. Wait, no, the, the other ones are definitely dead, right? Yeah, that looks Yeah, it's, it's a top two. But Kira Hoshitori needs a first. Okay. It's the only way. So hey. she's at what? She's at 88 LP. And she needs to beat what? 30. Uh, like 32 LP? Two, yeah. And you love who's at 34. 34. She needs 34. to switch the yeah, feelers so from, the, from the, the Udir. The Udir is threatening the back line. She needs to gain 46 LP here, which is basically just a first. But a first definitely gives 46. She also needs to link some front lines. Like, Ooh. this percent damage boost is not doing a oh, ton. Oh, this Udyr. Oh, this is that a counter matchup. This is... Oh, she's level 10 with Aphelios 3. That should be good enough, right? Uh, I think her links this are bad. Is, this is the exact matchup that's designed to, count, to counter this comp, though. Hang on. There's like, there is a walking death. Like, we lost last time because our Aphelios walked up. This time, the Senna walked up. Oh no, oh, Senna missed! Okay, is it okay. a kill? Oh, wait, 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 wait. How many Wukongs does this guy have? It's eight, eight Wukongs! The guy's got eight Wukongs! 
Oh my god. Hero Hearts Story, you need to roll and deny this Wukong if you want to live. No backdooring. No. <laughs> yeah, no, no backdooring, bro. Can you stop the backdooring, please? Oh my god. There is god, eight no Wukongs. Wukongs. I would be so scared to buy a legendary yeah, or even, she even dupe sell, one. She should sell the set just to put him back in the pool. The the one on bench. Yeah. yeah. Sell that and then roll desperately. Because if you find she, a Wukong, she in tried your shop, to roll there to find the Wukong and she didn't yeah. see it. Nice try, nice try. Unless. Oh God. Oh I'm God. So anxiously staring sell and hold it in your eyes. shop. Hold, uh, if you hold it in your shop, they can't get it. Okay. I. Oh, I like it. Did okay. Hit... Is he gonna okay, that, that person should sell their board. Yeah. yeah. That guy should actually sell his board for it. Okay. It all comes oh, down to this. be careful! Be careful! Be careful! Wait. Oh, oh, oh wait. Be careful. Okay, what? Okay. Oh, like to to not uh to expose oh. the front line. Her, her front line. She she just puts the Yasuo on one side. That's it. This the swap. This is gonna be so hype! Oh my god, for her tournament career. And she has to get first, and she has to get 46 or more LP. Wait. I, we oh, see the set. So much damage. No, wow. no, dude, dude. Hang on, wait. He's on the back. Oh, oh he stopped. Oh. oh, we got it. We did set it. Set it. Oh, my set God. The boss. How much LP? First. Hold on. Hold on. Is, Is it 46? The suspense. Click exit game. Click, please. Please, <laughs> click exit now. Come on. See what LP you are. You need at least 34 LP. Uh, no back. Load door. faster. Promoted. Promoted. Back to two. Emerald two. Come on, come on. Come on. Hit the, the play X, again button so we can X, see. Please. They're not looking. They're not looking. <laughs> Why? <laughs> no back going, bro. Uh, oh. 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 34? 34? Come on, man. What is this? <laughs> what, <laughs> what is this? <laughs> right. There's no way. Right. 36. 36. Oh, 36. Oh, my That's God. Enough, right? That's enough, right? That's enough. That's enough. That's enough. That's oh enough. That's, ex Any, that's enough by two. Any love went to bed, whispering. Yeah, she went to bed thinking oh. she was safe. Oh. Oh my no. God. Thirty six <laughs> over thirty four. Oh my God. Holy. That oh. wow. She probably woke up her roommate, screaming. Oh. That would be pissed. Oh man. Wow. That, that was a clutch though. To clutch up the first place there. Wow. That was so close. Yeah. That guy could have just hit one Wukong to end her tournament career. Wow, wow, wow. That was Damn. insane. That was insane. Incredible. Wait, the set actually backdoored, though. He he actually jumped into the back <laughs> line and he was a beast, bro. <laughs> Wait, there's the signs there. It's so dangerous. That's right. Yeah. That's right. That, we, we can't have two people backdooring, only one. Dude, set IE slam went back there, just decimated everybody. That was sick. That was great. Oh, that was God. great. Wait. It's calculating time. What were the odds of that guy hitting the last Wukong? <laughs> this Pushing up his glasses, grabbing his abacus from his pocket. This guy's a fucking dweeb. Calculator time. Calculator time. Guys, this guy, come on. It, Saturday morning cartoon voice. Okay, so according to the calculator, if you if you have eight Wukongs and you roll down 50 gold, you have a, at level 10, you have a 49% chance of seeing the last Wukong. You know, Which actually does make sense, because there's only 72 legendaries in the pool, and you're looking for one specific one. And if, if, like, a third of them are already out of the pool, there's only so many different legendaries you can see. If that guy sold his board and just rolled only with Wukong in mind, he might have been able to do it. Because, like, he was, he was very clearly going to lose. I don't know if I say very clearly, but, like... No, yeah, the, I think... I the think previous they, fight I think was they're not they're very good clearly. for that guy. Uh, yeah, I think that person I think, was, I think... like, holding out hope because they want to fight, like, a few ago? But yeah, no, it was definitely the Wukong angle. Yeah, I think that uh, they fell it's, in those kinds of spots. If you don't, if you only have like 10 seconds, so like if you don't feel like you can roll a meaningful amount, you probably don't go for it. But ah, yeah. it's all good. Yeah, doing that endgame rollout is actually quite hard. You have to sell every non legendary. Oh, to do it optimally, you have to sell every non legendary. And then once you run out of money, or hold every legendary. Then once you start running out of money, you slowly one by one sell the legendaries to have the highest odds of hitting the three star. Oh wait, I'm told he was level nine, not level ten. Sorry. Ooh. Calculating. Uh, no. I guess I'll just get up to twenty-three percent. It's calculator time. Oh, I think he was at ten. Time. I thought they were both at ten. Oh, okay. Then it's fifty percent. Yeah. Oh, any love is in chat. She saw what happened. Oh, oh no. no. 
game. Oh no! Disparage. I need love. If you're watching this, you are a trooper. Yeah. Wonderful to have in the boot camp. What a what an absolute legend playing playing mobile, trying not to wake up the roommate. Imagine her full power. Actually, yeah. Imagine what she could do with a mouse. <laughs> unbelievably powerful. Or just like, an actual just... setup that wasn't the phone. Yeah, I know. Wait, what if the phone was making her more powerful, though? Maybe. She's got the high refresh rate on the phone. That's true. Rolling That's true. Down. You can eat pasta with one hand, play with the other. <laughs> that okay. pasta's gonna bother me for the rest of my life. <laughs> I think there are no more, like, high-stakes games, so we can just wait 12 minutes and see, like, what the official standings say. I think everything's set in stone, though. Wow, Dish Soap did not have a good day. No. No, no I think, uh, oh, this is really, oh, you hit Spark ready, never mind. Ah, but take it anyways. It's actually pretty good. Okay. Oh, you roll. This is way, this is way worse. Oh, actually, if you want to play Kaiser, you can take this. I would take this. Okay. <clears throat> um, yeah, this this has been generally struggling the past few days. I wonder what happened. Yeah, he, um, he was like by far the first one to challenge her. He was like 400 LP ahead of everyone else. But then I guess everybody caught up. I'm not sure. Uh, yeah, I think he had an early read, and I think that, um, I think that he was, he's a little bit slower. Okay, I think the meta is just bad for, like, his skill set. Uh, Dystopes is a lot like you, Boxbox. He likes playing around level 8 and playing around yeah, 4 costs. The, the meta was just bad for me. Uh, <laughs> that's why yeah. I lost. He, he, he likes playing around 4 costs as primaries and not secondaries the way they are in the meta. And reroll and fast 9 are, like, things that I think that he can play, but they're not, like, exactly scared to his strength, so... He's kind of stuck in a situation where, like, if I think to, to consistently climb, he needs to fast nine and, and play a lot better at that. And he's never been extremely good at it compared to, like, Setsuko, for example. So, I don't think the meta is good for his, his skill set. <clears throat> oh. I mean, that being Man. said, he's still like 700 LP, which is like still really impressive, right? It's just, that's, yeah, I, I think that's why he's still like rank four. I think that's why he's still yeah. out. So. That really goes to show how good he is that, like, when he's rank four instead of rank one, we're like, what happened? Like yeah, exactly. Kind of yeah. Washed. Yeah. Oh, can you explain washed. the blue kale to me? I didn't understand it. Uh, Timo is probably the best two cost uh, carry in the early and mid game, and uh, he benefits way better from having mana than shred or a uh, attack speed because um, the shred only hits the front line, and Timo's devastation is that he trick shot bounces the back line, so the AP helps him assassinate a lot earlier. Oh, okay. Wait, this Teemo is so gross. It instantly yeah, like disgusting. Instantly poisons everybody. Yeah, because his okay, cast time is so low evoke. too. Oh shit! This is the assassin wow, Akali is. build. Blue buff, IE, oh, archangels. Yeah, look at this board. <laughs> this, this is pretty. Uh, yeah, pretty this spooky. is super creative. Yeah, level. <laughs> I like it. Yeah. Oh. Okay, so now that we've we've had time to to cool down, I who looks like they'll be our survivors for today? Oh, well, I guess more like. Who looks like they'll be getting eliminated today? Okay, I will do a control F5. I will zoom in. Oh, wait. Oh, too much. Too much. Okay. For the casuals, we have Kira. Oh, wait. This is not updated. And we have yeah. Lomenko, Ariyasaki, Phoenix VT, and Any Love. I think those are the people who are eliminated. Is that correct, Boxbox? Yeah, it looks like it. With the with the first place from Kira Hoshitori. Okay. The VTuber. Oh, Hishotori. I Hishotori. Wait, I saw Kita Hasagawa played in this, by the way. I think that's cool. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then from advanced, we say goodbye to Bellum, Tactician, Frog, and You Jelly. And yep. Very very well fought tactician. He almost made it. It actually came yeah. down to that final game, the final two fights. It was. It was. Oh, it was a crazy like, comeback. Uh, a little bit sad for Frog. Frog played themselves out of looks like uh, the top four, and then I think uh, Frog's a trooper. Click on her lol chest. Look at the games played. Three hundred and sixty-two. That's oh that's more than God. I played in set ten. That yeah, th that is insanity for two weeks. Wait, three hundred and sixty-two. Yeah, yeah. How many that games did me... Arya get? That's like my like, benchmark. Uh, Aria played 276. 276. So, oh, wow. wow. 
How many days into the set are we? Twelve or thirteen or fourteen? Almost a hundred games more. We're 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 uh, eleven days into the set. Twelve days into the set. Let's right, just say, say 12, twelve to be generous. How many? Games uh, one less day is degenerate. So. Yeah. Generous is probably better. Okay, I'll, I'll do the calculator then. Okay, so 362 wow. divided I mean, by 12 yeah, days. You gotta say the catchphrase. You can't just do a calculator a without saying it's calculating time. It's calculating time. time. You would rob box box. Six hours. Yeah, 17.6 okay. hours a day of just you, raw game I can't game believe you're time. about to rob box box of the calculator moment. That's yeah. unreal. It's a specialty. Frog has played. Literally, she just wake up, play. Yeah. Half of it on stream, half of it off stream. She just yeah. plays. That is dedication. Yeah. That is insanity. Uh, and then also give a shout, shout out to, to Sarah. I think a lot of times it's really easy to feel like just being overwhelmed by the shadow of like the fact that, you know, she, she and Soju are dating. But at the same time, she has hit challenge before, but it's been a while since she did that. And she held her own in top eight, so I'm proud of her. And then uh, in pro division, I think, uh, who do we have? We have Royal. He didn't really play today, but <clears throat> that's okay. I think he was too far behind. Yeah, and a lot of competitive. Honestly, one thing you have to really admire about some of these people who play from other regions is that they have to start playing for their own regions for their snapshots. So, like, some of them have to, like, throw in the towel a lot earlier than they want to. Um, that's fair. Yeah. T Lides, who gave it a shot, he didn't. He kind of like basically limboed in 100 LP and then dish soap and re replay um, as the elimination. Wait, YB is a beast, by the way. Yeah, Oop. this guy is considered like the VN ladder god. Like the, the he got third at Worlds in set eight. Um, and also, he's like the one that's pioneering a lot of tech from SEA. He's like, he, he, he's incredible. So, did you Wait, see? Can you check to see how many games Asa has had versus YB? Oh, that's a good question. Uh, 191 versus 243. Okay. Like, yeah. Ace has actually played more games than I thought he did. I was going to say, did you guys see the player numbers in the VN server? It's uh, outrageous. It's so high. Yeah. yeah it's very yeah. populated. Yeah. There's um, there's more players on the Vietnamese server than the rest of the world minus China combined. So Vietnam's Yeah, huge. I mean... I feel that way about playing. My lobbies have like more Viet players than players <laughs> all the names in my lobbies. I'm like, wait a minute. That's right. That's right. They're just talking in a different language. You're just like, did I log on to the wrong server? <laughs> yeah, I just joined. I'm like, oh, that makes sense. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Do you guys okay. do you guys have from any of the divisions a personal favorite that you really, really want to win? Uh, from oh, the I, remaining I four? I absolutely do. Yeah. I have a favorite in every single one. Go I for want it. Right. to win. Yeah, in the pro category, I want to see Asa take it home. Uh, the top four has always been like the same four people, and Asa is coming in huge at rank two with a thousand LP. Asa has been rank one before, but he always describes himself as a slow start. He always like dies kind of early in the bootcamp. Well, he does better than me. He usually plays around twentieth, and um, then he like hits a very high rank afterwards after he kind of has time to digest the set. But this time, he just went off insanely high insanely fast outpacing setsuko and dish soap uh it used to be yby setsuko dish soap and robin like every time top four in every single boot camp but now he's broken through uh so i want to see that in the advanced category uh i think saber and june are quite interesting and they've been uh well they're both friends of mine so i'm very biased uh <laughs> it's also they're all within like 60 lp ish of each other so this is it, the fact that it's anyone's game is super exciting what are the LPs in the casual? What are the um, LPs? Yeah. Let me see if it updated. Uh, it's Emerald 1 and Emerald 2. Emerald yeah, so 1s with, within... are 11 and 10 LP. Okay, so it's so still very close. So they're all within 100 LP of each they're, other. They're within 80, 80, 75 LP, actually. Oh, wow. I feel like after it's today, gets a diamond. I'm going to be rooting for Pasta Man. <laughs> that was the funniest <laughs> spectating experience I've ever had. Dude, uh, the shish kebab was pretty powerful. I can't lie. I was a big fan. Wait, there's there's two VTubers, right? Uh, uh yes. Mochi, Mochi, I think Mochi, Mochi is a VTuber. and Kira. Oh, it's VTubers versus flesh tubers. It's 2v2. Dang. Oh, don't say flesh tuber. <laughs> no. That's a good matchup. Whoa. I like that. 
All right. Uh, I just took a look at uh, Mochi Mochi's stream. She also mm -hmm. has post-it notes on her face, um, similar to uh, Kira Hoshitori. Wait, post-it notes on the on the face. Oh, Focus I mode, see. playing with one brain cell. Warning, bad plays ahead. I apologize if I make your eyes bleed. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good. I mean, top four is pretty good. Yeah, and the LPs are so close. Like last boot camp, it was not that close, except for like between two people. So yeah. this is hype. Let's take a look That's at the cool. viewer, uh, the community boot camp. Okay. How are the top ranked viewers doing, and who are their favorite streamers? Remember, this is still worth thousands of dollars worth of eggs. All right. I believe there should only be like 16 left. Wow. Or eight. Uh, 16 left. That is correct. Yeah, and then eight of them will be eliminated here. I, I didn't make the website show the elimination or the uh, danger zone. That was my bad. But yeah, only eight people will survive. All right. Wait, can you scroll down? I want to see where Brosef is. Where oh, Brosef? no. He's going down. Oh, yeah. He's in 11th right now. That's so okay. go back to the top. Let's take a look. The top favorite streamers are Soju, Tacharuru, Weijin, Froden, hey, Karumex, me. U Jelly, T Lades, and Re Replay. T Lades. And Re Replay. Cool. Uh, U Jelly has multiple players in the top 16. Damn, oh, I mean, wow. after what, what I saw her do with the cookie, like, I'm not surprised. <laughs> what, huh? <laughs> Oh, you weren't there. Uh, bargaining. In one of her games, she was contested bard. And she like, I don't know if flirted is the right word, like bantered. She's like, hey, buddy, I'll give you a cookie if you pivot off. And the guy said, OK. And then he sold his bards and then died. And then went six. <gasps> yep. And then, yeah. And then, and then she went top, top four. four. Of it. Man. Oh it was like, God. they're contesting bards. He has Gwinsu's bard and five bards. And then she has one bard. <laughs> That's uh... using every tool you have, right? Yeah. That's like she still ended up getting book. eliminated, but I, I, I respected it. I thought it was cool. The cookie gambit. Yeah, <laughs> the forever cookie gambit. known. I'm gonna try it in my game. Gambit though, you don't have anything to lose, right? They just say no and then, like, whatever, right? That's the same thing as saying. When you nothing. type in in game chat, there's always something to lose. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I feel like most of the time, people in in game chat are pretty nice. In my experience, in TFT. Hmm. Oh yeah, they've experience. been pretty nice, but I don't know. I mean, well, there is the exception where some people will say nothing all game, and then when I die, they'll say alrighty then chat room, which is what I say in my game show before someone dies. Oh, and I'm like, I that's see, fucked I see, up. I see, I see. You waited until I died to do that, and oh, I was like, oh man, cool. at least they didn't hit you with the big fan. Yeah, that's like that's that worse. does happen too, but. Dude, I was watching a shifter play a TFT game once, and all seven people were on Crab Rave, and he voted something else and won, and then someone called him a very bad word in chat. Dude, <laughs> yeah, okay, my last Crab Rave game, some guy's name was like K3 Soju's friend, or something, like, you know, something like he was just a Soju fan, was yapping about me high rolling something. And I was like, dude, I was the only person not to vote Crab Rave, so get owned. I try to play normal TFT, and you guys are degenerate scum, so. Wow. Like, I feel, I do not feel bad. I got first, and I was like, I'm out of here. Good for you, wow. man. I think Good the website you. is updated. It's 12.05. Let's take a look at the eliminations. All right. Man, tomorrow is going to be a bloodbath. Everybody's, all three divisions are so close. This is actually, like, the closest a boot camp has ever been, so I'm very dude. excited. Look Hopefully at that advanced category. Hopefully they all stream. I haven't seen Vic TFT stream yet, so I want to see I want to see her play. She's number one in the advanced category by quite a bit. I want to see what she can do because if you look at her match history, uh, she climbed since her last stream. She was diamond two, and she's climbed 400 LP since then. So Damn. I want her to stream and show us what she learned. Oh yeah, wow, that was all off stream climbing. Yeah, her last stream I checked was diamond two. Mm -hmm. Oh wow. So I want her to I want her to turn on her stream and like show show off what she learned. Well, yeah, any more games have to be played on stream now, right? I mean, basically, like, the rules say no. half of your games have to be streamed. Technically, oh, okay. you could play a majority of your games on stream at the beginning and then play the rest off stream. We have had problems in the past with people playing off stream uh, to either just focus better, not leak mm -hmm. tech, or receive coaching. And, like, we try to encourage people to play. I can't force them to play, but we really want to encourage it, uh, mostly to deter, like, uh, getting coached privately. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's the most hype when everyone's just live on the last day, I have to imagine. Yes, today was great. All the people fighting were streaming. It was awesome. So Man. hopefully it should be fun. I really hope she turns on her stream tomorrow. Oh, the LP hey, differences. from Brazil. Someone in chat said it's 4 a.m. for her right now. Oh, uh, okay. 
the the LP differences in advanced are very spooky. That is a a danger zone for sure. It's the same. It's actually burst. the same separation almost across the board. Seventy five LP from Boogie Me to Kira. It's seventy. It's basically seventy five from Meagle to Vic, and then it's like eighty five between Spencer and oh sorry one hundred eighty five. Ha, Wait, there's a count. one LP difference between first and second and casual. Yes. Really? Yeah. Yeah, eleven, like 11 and ten and LP. Oh wow! Oh my god! Yeah, eleven, 11 and, 10. and ten. Yeah, anybody's game. That's crazy. Okay, cool. And then um, one last thing, uh, friend. Do you want to go take a look at the prize pool? See what the the final twelve people are competing for? Oh yeah. Got it. In first place, or uh, in the casual, the first place prize is fifteen hundred. Second place prize is a thousand. Everybody here is already locked in seven hundred fifty dollars. In advanced, it's two thousand for first, twelve hundred for second, and anyone here is already locked in at least eight hundred dollars. In uh, in pro, Wait a second. Oh, what the heck? I don't know why I did that. Okay, well, in pro, <laughs> huh? Uh oh. Fourth Sorry place. Sorry, gets fourth. I. Uh oh. Might as well not just have called it. Hold on. <laughs> I didn't realize that fourth was the same amount of money as eighth. <laughs> no worries. <laughs> well, just win. one of yeah, them is going to be kind of sad. <laughs> Wait, hang on. That might actually be a typo. That might actually be a typo. But let me check my internal document and see if it's actually five hundred dollars for fourth. Yes, I, awesome. I imagine it it's a thousand dollars for both, right? Like if that's no fourth make that fourth mistake. casual in advance. There's no way I'd make that mistake. <laughs> <laughs> let me check. Uh, no worries regardless uh pro does have more money and that is higher stakes three thousand dollars a lot uh this is basically as big as a major cup in tft okay yeah. i found it it is a thousand we type okay. it on the okay. graphic okay. but okay. Okay. fourth third and fourth get a thousand dollars each Second viciously place pulling five hundred dollars out of his bank account right now that's that right that's right <laughs> <laughs> i like okay. it i like uh, it I guess last thing, uh, Froden, you got any predictions? Can you predict who you think is going to be the winner? From everything we've seen so far, can you predict the winner of each division? Uh, let me see. Oh, sorry. Uh, predict. Okay. Wait, before uh, you start, if you get all three of these right, I buy you a fancy dinner. Oh. Whoa. Oh. Okay. Let's write it down. I mean, I'm going to just have to go with people I've seen. So I'm going to go with uh, Kira. After watching uh, uh, that close to the game, I think that was excellent. I'm going to go with my boy Saber. Uh, even though I want H2 to win I, I as well, I, I, I'm cheering for Saber as well. And then I'm going to say YBY closes it out. I think this guy's too good. I, I think, uh, unfortunately, it's going to be a non-NA player taking it. I mean, I think that's pretty hype, to be honest. YBY yeah. has been so close so many times. If... For anyone who is watching right now who didn't see the previous boot camp, the finale of the previous set 10 boot camp was insane. It was Setsuko at 1400 LP, at YBY at 1200, going into the fi final two days. Setsuko said, I'm gonna just sit. I'm just gonna sit on my cute little ass and just uh, like let them crawl at me. Try your best. And then YBY climbs, he averages a 1.5 over eight games, and he climbs to 1400 LP. Setsuko wakes up with, with four hours left in the event. He's like, huh? And then he starts queuing it up. And then with YBY and Setsuko both live at 1400 LP, rank one and rank two, they both bought four, five games in a row. Yeah. Setsuko yeah. stops playing. <laughs> and then YBY keeps playing. YBY bought fours again, and Setsuko wins the whole event. <laughs> it was, they just that both was, like, they, the kept finale. running it down. That was, that was a TFT so moment. Funny. Yeah. <laughs> I got my predictions. That's like inspiring. That's inspiring to everyone at home. Like you're not the only one running it down. It happened. <laughs> Absolutely. Just the not. best players in the world are also just running Atsuko it down. Atsuko could have sat and went back to bed. But you know, <laughs> okay. we all could have sat and went to bed. Wait, can I say my predictions? Yeah, yeah, go for it. What's up? All right. Feel free to write it down. Mochi Mochi for casual. Uh-huh. H June for advanced. Uh -huh. And Asa for pro. I also, like it. That's, that's, like, that's the yeah. heart pick. These are the heart picks. I like it. Okay, also, for the record, BoxBox Box said that if Asa won the pro division yesterday, oh. he would pitch in an extra five bucks out of his wallet. For oh. Asa. That's right. He did. Oh, yeah. He did. We're, we might be going out of budget for that one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, like from what I've seen, I actually really like the way Custa played. He, like, 
he like knows what's good and sticks to it. He wasn't able to find the minor optimizations, but honestly, like any newer player would never be able to find it. Like he has overall very good game plan. I'm pretty sure he's climbing over 100 LP tomorrow by just having solid fundamentals. So my uh, reasoning is that if Custa goes back and watches this stream of us spectating him, he levels up like instantly. Because yeah, I feel like true. there's so many small holes in his man. game he plan. Was barely, that, like... He was barely looking at his own chat to tell him to slam items. <laughs> I, he was barely looking at that bowl of pasta. <laughs> he was barely right. finishing the bowl. <laughs> oh, <laughs> man. No, I, I, I actually think that if he VOD reviews this stream of us pointing out the small differences in, like, econ and stuff like that, like, that actually... That helps still oh, that if pasta. he fixes his econ, he would level up a lot. Yeah. But if you try to pit, uh, learn too many new things at once, it's usually very bad in the short term. Someone in the chat says Custa has a pro Overwatch game tomorrow. Oh, no. Whoa. Oh, he's a pro player? Oh no. no. I thought he's a commentator. Uh, oh, oh, he's a commentator. Yeah. Okay, okay. Oh, but he still won't uh Oh, he tweeted up. Cute. Oh. He said pasta dip. Pasta dip. Pasta, pasta dip. Pasta dip. Oh, but he won't have time to play. That's rough. I mean, like no no one can fault him for this. Like if he like loses cuz he doesn't have time, that's totally reasonable. Oh, it's apparently like a 2-hour scrim window. Okay. That's not bad. No, that's not bad. Okay. Uh, anyone else have any predictions they want to write down before we go in? Mochi, mochi, saber, YBY. -Y. I like that. Oh, I think yeah. this is. I think Kira wins. I think Smeagol wins. I think Asa wins. Oh. All right, Asa, write this huh? one down, chat. Pasta man number one in the casual. And no one's got Vic, even though uh, Vic was far ahead. <laughs> I just didn't see any like. Yeah, I, I mean, it's hard. It's hard, so gameplay, just not so it's hard yeah. to pick people that you don't see their gameplay. You, you just yeah. don't know. Like I, I don't like, know. I Mochi saw, Mochi. I saw man yeah. without shirt running it up in the last second. I'm voting for man without shirt running it up in the last second. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. And I still believe in Asa. I think he can pull off the miracle upset. He has a lot of really interesting. Oh, I have a theory as to how he got so good. He recently made a website where he like, he's like trying to make like a, like a TFT learning website. And he's like actively searching for like the craziest micro optimizations that no other website will give you. And I'm pretty sure like just by searching for them, that makes him a significantly better player. Not even tftacademy.com. <laughs> <laughs> Thoughts? At streamer? Oh, I mean, so, I, I, we're talking about T Ace's website, not mine, but uh, I know. But it's actually Ace funny. He actually talks he about he, he actually too. talks about my website as helping him climb, uh, which is really funny. Whoa, what was your website yeah. again? Uh, <laughs> so, something <laughs> TFT Wait. school. Froden, go okay. back, go back really quick. Do what? The website just now that you closed. Okay. Uh, did he give himself a three-star review down there? <laughs> Look at him. No, no, no. <laughs> these are people. These are testimonials from his Discord. No, but you should put five stars. Like no, it's three visual. stars because he's a three-star coach. Oh, like yeah, it's yeah, three like TFT oh, yeah. is like thematic. Oh. Yeah, 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 bro, yeah, do you yeah. even play the game? Like, no, you, no, it's, you it's, may need it's some like, coaching. It's like ping pong yeah, ball quality, a man, player, bro. Come on, it's, it's like table tennis quality. You know, three stars. Yeah, he's a Tekken god. <laughs> <laughs> that's his rank. That's right. That's right. Of yeah. destruction. Of destruction. Yeah. But yeah, I would say we are all good to wrap up here. This was an awesome day. I. The third to last day was a little slow, but today we got a lot of POVs. This was incredibly intense, and with every division being within 100 LP of each other on all four competitors, it's going to be a bloodbath, and there's a lot of money on the line. It's going to be really satisfying. I hope we get, like, out of the 12 streams, I hope we get at least, like, eight online. Yeah. Yeah. It'd be so hype. So many things came down to the wire here, especially with uh, Kira Hishotori clutching it up with a literal first place minutes before the elimination to beat Any Love by 2 LP. I'm pretty sure something like that will likely happen again. It's going to be awesome. We'll do it again 9 p.m. tomorrow. Everybody here is welcome to come back again. This was awesome. Uh, thank you, everybody, for joining. And I guess we'll see you tomorrow. Everyone's free to go. All right. Thanks, everybody. Thank you, everyone. Okay. Bye. See ya. Yeah. See ya. Bye. All right, everyone. It's really... That was fun. Uh, kind of long today, especially since I was working as well today. So I've been up for a very, very long time. Uh, let's wrap it up. Uh, see you guys tomorrow. We're going to probably do, I might do a patch, uh, OC patch, like early play session because OC launches at evening time here. And so I might play on the new patch. Uh, cause I think I'm done with this patch mentally. I, I had a lot of fun, but like, obviously I, I ran it down to zero P today. Um, but that's okay. 
Uh, I'm going to go ahead and raid you, Jelly, tonight. I, I'm glad that you guys had fun. Th sorry about the stream crash and stuff like that. Hope you guys uh, come back for tomorrow. Have a good night, everybody. Peace.